Hello and welcome to Mage Master's amazing adventures with the Firing Squad into Vortheim, the city of the damned. Let's get started right away with the sweet moment after yesterday's heroic battle. That was a battleground victory with some good wordstone gathering but not that good looting. We lost no one, put four out of action, and guess who was the most valuable warrior? That's right, Mage Master. Anyway, the whole mission costed no more than 32 gold coins. Overall, an okay victory. And the Captain Mason mugshot. He was a bit disappointed, there wasn't really much looting or scavenging out there. He got a few XP points and an advancement point in mental. Donnie Dodger, he ranked up to level 4, awesome, and he got 2 skill points for training, and a mental advancement point, great, Teddy Toothpick, he also ranked up, he ranked up to level 3 and got an offense point out of that, great, and 2 advancement point, one in martial and one in mental, great, Dodgy Dan, he did some good shooting out there, even one in a window frame, he got a point for enemies put out of action though. Nice. And Sheldon Shieldwise. Once again, you did it. Great job out there. Didn't get much for it here, I see, but a physical advancement point. And there I am, Mage Master. And I got an XP point for most valuable warrior. Do you see it? You see it? It's right there, right? Well, okay, okay. Uh, Herman Henchman. You did a good job too out there shooting there, and you got one too. And a physical advancement point. Probably going for strength. And we all got 2 XP. Now let's see who got what at yesterday's sweet moment. We didn't really get anything much out of that looting and scavenging out there today. But the captain seems to have a lot of good blue gear. And he was also given a mental advancement point. And he's gonna take some leadership on that. Sheldon Shieldwise, and he did a good job again. And look at all that good quality gear he has. He's not gonna be needing the sword or the shield we found out there, but he's gonna need a point in strength. Herman Henchman, now he doesn't have that much gear, but he is not ranked up that much, so he's not gonna be given any of the good quality blue shield or sword. He needs some more strength. Donnie Dodger, he also has a little bit of good quality gear, but he's gonna hold on to his maze, and he was given a mental advancement point, and he's gonna take some leadership on that. However, he ranked up and got two skill points as well, and the captain wants him to train Flash Parry skill, and we can afford it, so he is gonna train overnight. Dodgy Dan, now he only has one good quality blue sword, so he gets the good quality blue shield we found out there. And he also gets the other sword out there that has a little better enchantment. And he was also given a martial advancement point, which is using for weapon skill. And there I am, Mage Master, and I don't have any good gear, but I have an advancement point in mental. I'll use it for leadership. And Teddy Toothpick, now he doesn't have much gear either, sharing it with Baldy Bowman, but he ranked up, got an offense point and two advancement points, one in mental and one in martial, spending them on leadership and of course on ballistics. And so a new damn day is dawning in Mordheim and it's time to look at the daily report. Donnie Dodger has learnt the skill Flash Perry overnight, and Perry Perry has now fully recovered from his near-death experience where he also lost an arm. Our librarian has sent us a normal quality formula of champions. Now these enchantments, they are pretty expensive, so that's not relevant for now, but I can say that they are pretty good, so we are going to be looking at it, and I'm sure that we're going to be using it as well. Let me just say real quick about our one-armed veteran Perry Perry here. Some warriors end their warband days in a battle book, others start a new chapter as a warband cook. The captain has agreed to hire him as our cook, so the firing squad now have our own chef. How cool is that?
and he's preparing his first meal for us tonight already, looking forward to eating something else than just oatmeal porridge. Another little surprise. Yesterday, when we all went to the new tailor in town to buy a present for our white knight, the two Dodger brothers, Donnie and Dan, they ordered a tailor-made suit for themselves, and today they collected them. They come from a faraway land called America, and like all Americans, they love their flag, so their suits had to be in the colors blue, red, and white. Look at that cute couple, huh? That came out wrong. Anyway, the captain isn't too happy about too many colors. He's more into camo colors. He doesn't want us to look like, I quote, a party of peacocks. Well, the captain also had quite a surprising announcement for us. We've not only recruited a cook today, we've also recruited a new marksman who is joining us tomorrow. He's a woodsman ranger called Nero, named after a Roman emperor because he's destined for greatness. The captain even called him Nero the Hero because the captain has no doubt that he'll one day become a great hero. Let's see how that plays out. He'll be arriving tomorrow in time to join tomorrow's mission. Now that's exciting, right? And so here is the team we are sending into Mortheim City of the Damned today. From the left, me, Mage Master, Most Valuable Warrior, mm -hmm. and the Captain Mason Mugshot, since he's the only captain we have still, and our four sturdy warriors, Sheldon Shieldwise, aka the White Knight, and Herman Henchman, and the Dodger Brothers. Donnie and Dan look at them in their fine clothing. And the eye in the sky today together with me is Teddy Toothpick. So let's go! And the captain has found us a hard mission today. Rivals in the ruins, we needed to crush their will and possibly steal the idol off their wagon. The wordstone gathering could be good and the scavenging poor and both warbands deployed tightly around their wagons and prepared to hack and slash each other to shred. Oh, yeah, okay, let's just go. Your scouts have discovered a rival warband in the vicinity. These warriors are clustered around their wagon, making them a very attractive target. And we're in. First things first, let's just see who we're up against while the captain is looking at his map and making a battle plan. The Keepers of Sigmar's Faith. Or oh, we're up against the Witch Hunters. Time for deployment. Let's see. I'm gonna be here. And the captain will be right next to me. Over here. Right there. Teddy Toothpick will be here, there, and our four frontliners, Dodgy Dan, Herman Henchman, Donnie Dodger, and Sheldon Shieldwise will be here. Let's just check out the plan. Now we have all our frontliners in the front and our rangers in the back. Now the plan is that we're going into this beautiful big house over here and out through this side door. We're overlooking a great big field of wordstone right here, which is gonna be the center battlefield of this battle, I believe. So let's get started. Sheldon Shieldwise, let's deploy you and see. Hmm. And everything is so quiet. And now, let's see. Okay. Oh, let's not step on that wooden plank right there. Let's try to go in a straight line here. Oops. There's some wood on the floor over there also. Now, right now, I'm looking straight down on that wordstone field right here. We need to keep an eye because they will be coming up here. Already in the first round we may be able to spot some of them. So finding a good spot to protect the rest of the team would be a good idea. So let's set an overwatch stance right here. I can see a nice big cluster down there. Wow. 
and there are two question marks in the top of the screen indicating that there were two enemies taking their moves now there's just one oh. so we still have a plan okay let's see how far we can get the captain oh, you got my back I like that so let's see you in an overwatch stance and two more enemies are making their turns and we're just keeping our eyes open on that field over there it's gonna be the epicenter of all battles today i believe and teddy toothpick we're taking you as far as you can go let's just see if we can get you around this wall it looks like it yeah and you have a range on that hunting rifle so maybe you would be the first one to get first blood today let's hope it's not them uh, let's see here you got some heavy gear so you probably oh we're gonna take that chance Oh, I could make it without. Let's see. How are we gonna be able to place you? You're gonna take the view of Teddy Toothpick, so you should probably see if you can just stand like this. Yeah. Dodgy Dan. Let's put you in an overstance. Herman Henchman. Let's just see if we can get this way around. No. Maybe this. Ooh. Okay, let's see. We gotta get it real close to the wall there if we're gonna make it around Teddy. We did it. Let's just see, Herm Herman Henchman has one more step. Yes, he could get all the way over here. Now this is good, this is good. If we can place him here, we could probably have Sheldon Shieldwise in front. All right, this is a good Overwatch stance and we also have a climbing possibility, don't we? No, we didn't. We can't climb up that way. We need to use the main entrance, but that doesn't matter. Oh, this is Donny Dodger. Let's see how far he can go. Sheldon Shieldwise could probably get all the way to the house inside. Let's see how far you can go. No, you can't. So you're going to be the one who's standing here and like covering the rangers in behind. Oh, yes. We're going to take an end turn to keep you in place. And Sheldon Shieldwise, can you, maybe Sheldon Shieldwise. Let's see if we can get you all the way into this house. And then, like, what if we do it like this, in an ambush? Oh yeah, that's a good spot for an ambush. The first round is ending now. Everybody has taken their turn. A new round has started. This is the moment where someone might actually pop up. Let's just take a look here. Let's just see. Yes, there we have someone. That would be detail. Okay. Okay, let's see if I can make it all the way up to the side entrance. Let's just see here. See if we can make it around these stairs no uh, let's see I am gonna be careful not to shut the door off good field down there okay let's see this is probably a good spot just for an overwatch here I need to get the others up oh there are four enemies taking their turn maybe I should have taken a delay in case anybody else pops up. Oh, I got a good overview of this, huh? I got a good one. I see two good clusters down there and a few shards as well. That 
that could be profitable. But reaching that is probably connected to quite a bit of pain. And the captain is going straight for the ramp over here. Let's see if we can get him up. Oh, he can't cross the line anywhere else than that. So this is where he ends up. This is a good spot. It's close. Both to the Wordstone field and also to the enemies. Hmm. There's an enemy right over there. Let's let's see if the captain has spotted anyone new. No, this this dude is all alone. For now. Let's see how far we can get Herman Henchman. Ah, he can't get that far. Nope. Nope. That's too close. Let's just see if we can if we can get you up on the stairs instead. Is there a window over there going looking out? Nope. Nope. Windows here. So you are gonna be on these stairs. In an overwatch. Yeah. And dodgy Dan. You probably would have the same problem not being able to get that far. So the captain would probably prefer that you go through the house as well. So you can guard the front entrance. With an overwatch stance right there. And let's see. Teddy Toothpick. How far you can go. Um... Maybe you could actually get behind the captain. You don't have a, a heavy equipment. Uh, you, could you get all the way out there? Nope. This would be a vulnerable spot. So let's get you right back. See if we can go in a straight line towards the stairways then. Let's see here. Ooh, let's see if we can just sneak around the corner. We could. This is good. And there, and let's see, we got one more step. If I crack the line here, I could maybe get a little further towards the door. Oh, look at this. This is a good spot, and he has a lot of, uh, a lot of range as well, right next to me. We got this, Teddy. All right, Sheldon Shieldwise. Now, he is already... A little bit closer to the captain so let's see if he could if he could get up here in some kind of no he can't and he can't make a parry stance here either so we're gonna have to take an if he stands here that dude over there would probably be able to engage him. No. No, the firing squad will stop his advance. With all their shooting, he's just gonna end his turn right here. This is... He is blocking it, and he's not gonna run down the ramp. He's gonna stay close. So, Donnie Dodger, the last one. You would need to go up the stairs as well. He, we, we can't... With all this heavy gear... Oops, let's just see if we can crack it near the chair like that. Let's just end the turn here. And this is the end of the round number two as well. We've only spotted one enemy so far. Oh, something is happening now. Let's see what's going on here. A new round has started. Where is he? Where is he? Where did he go? Where did he go? I'm just gonna take a look at the map. Okay, he's still down there, or... No. No. He's gone somewhere. Ah, here he is. He's over here. Uh-huh. Okay, so... He didn't approach us. I'm thinking. I'm really thinking, how can I assist them most? I think if I place myself... Here... Someone else could help me in my back that would be like Sheldon or someone else this is a good spot to fire 
I'm, I'm going to delay this time. I'm going to... Because we have the chance to see two more movements. And I have lots of strategy points. So let's see if anything is happening. Because they could... All of a sudden they could come from over the, over there and... and then, boom, boom. Something's happening. Okay, Captain. Let's just take a look. That is their leader. Their leader is so close. I don't see anyone else for the moment. And there is... Okay. Fine. So their leader pops up. Okay. We have to be careful not to shut off for any other strategic movements. But a delay here. And then a movement again. Possibly even a delay move. Hmm. The captain is a strategic genius, so he knows what he's doing. Let's assume that, right? I'm gonna delay once more. I can do that. I can do that. Oh, the suspense. And I see someone over there. We're on that platform. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, now they're coming. Now they're ganging up on us, huh? Okay, so it is the captain's turn again. I think it's gonna be pretty intense here in this area right in front of us. So I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking a smart thing would be to stay out here and get more out that can shoot and stuff. Sheldon, shield-wise, probably can't disengage while the captain is standing here, but... I don't think he's going to be engaged in this next round. I have a longer range than most of the warriors on the stairs. So I'm going to place myself up here. And hopefully those frontline dueling pistol warriors can come and place themselves a little bit closer. They're just standing there, huh, Teddy? Can you resist? Can you resist? Ah. You can't do it. Let's just see if there's a window in here that was cracked. Let's see if we could get a shot in at their leader down there. Is he Is he there? I'm looking at... Yeah, he's there. He's, look at that. Okay, Teddy Toothpick. You want to do the honors of a possible first blood? Yes, that was the first blood. Well done, Teddy Toothpick. Well done. But you can't reload. So, well, maybe maybe we should uh, get back and be certain not to not to block for any of the the warriors coming up the stairs. So, so we're going to put you here, Teddy Toothpick. Now, let's see Dodgy Dan. Okay, let's get you up here. Let me just see. Oh, maybe I should go in a more. How about if I just sneak behind you like that? See, yes, maybe we could get around this. Something like that. And then we're going to crack the line. That's some sticky stuff here. Okay, I got two more movements, and we need to get you out in a in a closer. Okay, this is this is good. This is pretty good. Close enough to take someone who's closing in on us. They're just looking at that field. This is good. Well done, Dodgy Dan. You're gonna take an Overwatch here. And I'm pretty certain you're gonna hit something if they pop up within range. Let's just see. Can we sneak around this? Nah, I don't believe so. Nope. It's as if all these stairs are kind of sticky. Okay. And you have two. Two movement possibilities. Also. So maybe you should just you you can't get past now. So this is this is where you are going to be placed. Listen up. I would really suggest you should try us out, huh? Just just to see the fireworks. Come on. 
Don't you feel tempted? Another overwatch on the ramp and Donnie dodge you. You uh, actually have uh, some pretty good uh, ballistic skills. So maybe you should have had your dueling pistols as your your primary weapons instead of uh, Dodgy Dan, for instance. Now let's just see, you have two as well. And, hmm. It would be a good thing to get you down there to defend, but there is no space on the ramp. Is there any way I can be more efficient here? Is there any way that I can... I can... crack a line some special way, or... Uh, he was over here. Maybe, maybe I could, if I go up this way, be careful. Ooh, look, look, this may be smart. This may be smart, actually. Let's just see. And then we, I, I think, I actually think it's possible to get down here. I can't get past that one. Okay, I mean, we are talking about millimeters here. Let's just try once more. Let's see. Ah, yes! 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 That's right. Now let's see, um... Let's see. If I place him here, the captain wouldn't be able to move up or anything. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna place you here. What I'm trying to say is that the captain says you should be in an ambush right here. Oh yes. That's right. I don't know if anybody can pass you. And Sheldon Shieldwise, oh yes. You are gonna be ready to engage. I'm just gonna take you up a little further up like this. And maybe a little to the side. Um, a little to the side. I think you're still blocking the ramp. But someone else could pass. I, I may have to... A parry stance it is. A new round has started. Something's going on over there. Okay. What else? What else? Okay, let me just see. Let's just take these ob objective uh, thing off the screen here. We know where the word stone is, so... You know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna delay here. Because I think, I think their leader is gonna try and come for us. And then I would have two shots for him. I'm gonna delay. I'm gonna delay. Okay. This is a decisive moment. The first encounter. So close. And Sheldon, you're ready, right? You're ready, right? Come on. Yeah, that's nice, Captain. Let's see some shooting. Ooh, yes. And maybe, maybe a few pieces of lead more. Ah, that was, that was sad. But, well done. Okay, Sheldon, once again, you show us why you are the White Knight. And a counterattack. And a parry! Oh my god, Sheldon, you are amazing! Yeah. Yes, look at that! Does he have another attack? No. No. That was it? Okay, Captain, let's just take a look at this guy. He's carrying some heavy damage. He is, he is, but this guy, he's going down. Awesome. Well, Captain. First of all, we need to reload. Let's just stretch the point like this. You probably can't get a shot in this close, so... Um, what if we move you over here? You could take an aimed shot. You could do that. Let's give this guy some damage. Nice. All right. And then you can... Uh, you can maybe, maybe stretch this point a bit more and you can reload. And this will be a position for an overwatch. They are still incoming. So an overwatch stands right there. OK, 
Okay, I think that was a good thing I delayed. Maybe I should try for some damage here. He's got 25. He's got 25. Let's just see here. Ah, that's too bad. There are a lot of incoming. Now what are we gonna do? First of all, reload. I'm gonna have to go for for an overwatch here. Ah, oh, that was a pity. But this is a good place for an overwatch stance and that will be of good use. See? There's incoming. Would you mind taking a cluster with you for us? Oh, okay. Okay, you don't care about that. That's too bad. Oh, he was a fast dude. Running past that door. Okay. Herman Henchman. Let's take an overwatch with you as well. Right there. That's good. That's good. And and the same I think should should work for you. Um But maybe the smart thing would be to take you down here, Dodgy Dan. Right here. And then um go for an overwatch. Let's reload. An overwatch for you. And that means that Teddy Toothpick could be out here on the ramp as well. Let's just see if we could get you into the spot right here. Yeah. And... Actually, you're gonna spend your shot when the first dude moves, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter Let's see who you can shoot you can shoot Pretty far out there That's nice. So any of these two move You take him out Or at least deal some damage to them. You're gonna go for an overwatch Okay Maybe it's time. It is time for. Yeah, <laughs> That's too bad. I did not expect that. This is what I love and hate about more time. You cannot plan with dice rolls. So, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> first kill of the day. I I just gave up on that kill. I just gave up on it. Okay, let's see, what have you got for us? Wow, you got some nice stuff in here. You got some really nice stuff. Concentration, crossbow pistols, we can't use that, but it's probably good for selling. You got a hammer as well, and an axe. We don't use hammers and axes. Anyway, thank you very much for that. And Sheldon Shieldwise is now loaded. You, was, you were actually doing really good, so how about if we move you to this this side instead maybe yeah this is a good position yeah so let's go and you're gonna go into an ambush right there okay and it's the end of the round that was the last turn from our side in this round. Now let's see. A new okay. round has okay. started. Yeah, that's right, Teddy. That's right. Okay, you see? See? He's going for he's going for the climb. Oh. Oh, this guy must like lead. I mean, he's sucking it to him. And maybe a little a little stick and some more lead <laughs> he just changed directions Ooh, you parried again Sheldon this is amazing work amazing skills incredible Sheldon shield wise and it's my turn you simply giving this turn to me thank you thank you last missions most valuable warrior Mage Master. Oh, look at that. 67. Even though, even though he's engaged. 
Let's just take a look at him. He's down to 62. What I'm going to do is I am going to see if I can stretch this a little more like that. And then, and then I'm going to delay just to see who else is coming in. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I do have two shots. So if I can spend one shot during my turn and then one in Overwatch, I would really be doing good. Oh, this guy, he gets another idea and he is actually coming up here. So what's going on? What, what, what? Is he charging? Nope, he's not. He can't charge. It's, it's, it's too close quarters. I would probably... Because if he was charging our ambush, it wouldn't have worked. Donnie Dodger is, is standing down here and... Ooh, he's really close to him. But this guy, who's right up on us, he has a lot of health. So maybe we need to try and see if we can get... What is the percentage of him? Ah, he's covered. He's partially covered. Let's just see there. Oh, now he is. Look at that percentage of that. Yup. Yup. You're going to taste some of that. And I'm going to move a little bit to the side. Stretch the point. And reload. And then I'm going to stretch the point a little more out on the ramp. And I'm going to use my overwatch possibility here. There are still incoming. Let's give them a little hello if they move closer. So, Mason, maybe it's time for you to lay down your dueling pistols and switch weapons. Yeah. I'm going over here. That's right. Now, let's see. The captain has three attacks. <coughs> That would be one attack. Whee! That one hurt. That one really hurt. Okay, this... this uh, you see? You see? The captain can hurt as well. He's gonna go into a 92% parry stance. And he has one counter-attack possibility. That's good. That's good. So... You, you can make a reload here, and an overwatch here, you're too close to shoot at him, let's just see how he's doing, he's down to 124, our captain got really hurt here, 162, and this guy has 62, this is, uh, this is okay, this is okay. We have an overwatch stand from Dodgy Dan. Keeping a good eye down there. Maybe an overwatch from Teddy as well. Let's just see. Let's do an overwatch. You have a long range here. Okay, I think you are gonna reload Herman Henchman. And let's just see here. I think an overwatch stance is probably the wisest thing the captain could order Herman Henchman to do. And Donnie Dodger. Let's see what you can do. <laughs> Whoa, you just made a crit on him. He held his ground, but you heard him. You really heard him. And you got momentum now, which means that the next attack you have an extra percentage. I think it's 20%, so 95% for this next attack. So, this is uh, an attack. <laughs> yes, that's right. And then Donnie Dodger takes a parry stance without a counter-strike possibility. But Let's just see. And Sheldon Shieldwise. Okay, 87%. Let's just see how things yeah. are going. Not so Good, Sheldon. I think, I think, um, the parry stance percentage is pretty good. And you've been doing well. So, so let's see if, uh, if that would bear some fruit. A good counterattack. In their turn is like giving them extra damage. A new round <laughs> has started. <laughs> Come on, that hurt. But here's what we were talking about. <laughs> ah, nice one, Sheldon. And he only had one attack. 
Okay, Sheldon, you're doing well. Teddy. Ah, oh, Teddy, uh, I saw, I saw that, that fence. It, it probably jumped right there. Okay, he's going for the front entrance. He's going for the front entrance. I can't just let that go, huh? We need to take them out. Oh, yeah. Right on. Let's see. He's got eight. He's got eight. He's got eight. Is this what I want to do? Yep. This is what I want to do. Please. Yes! Yes! I got my fourth enemy put out of action on my fourth mission. Okay. I I've got no more here, so I'm going to put myself here in a position where I can shoot down the stairs once I have reloaded. Oh, that was, that was good. That was, that was good. Now, let's see. Let's see out here. He's just lying down there. We need to loot him this time. Oh, there he comes. So, let, let's just see, um, you. We need to talk a little more here. I think, I think we need to talk even more, you and I. Yep, and the conversation is over. Let's just see what we can do. Let's just loot. A uh, great axe. That's that's the one you hurt me with, and it's worth what? Four gold coins? Never mind. Gratitude. The captain has a lot of movement steps left, so let's see if if he could loot this guy. Ah, uh, you have a dagger and an axe. Okay. Okay. A dagger is one gold coin. So, guys, if you want to bring home a gold coin, feel free. An ambush stance would be would be nice or just maybe just, you know, a parry stance. Because they can't charge up here anyway. So a parry stance of 92%, oh that's a good percentage, right? Oh, we already made them roll dices for routing. Okay, that was early. Huh. We stopped their advance. Okay, okay. There's a valuable dagger lying down there. Um, anyone? We would rather, let's just see, you can, you can actually reload after the shot. So why not? Yeah, yeah, how do you like that? Hmm, two pieces of lead. Ah, uh, yeah, and turn. Can't move or anything. Okay, Teddy Toothpick, I think the best thing that you could do, Teddy, is to just watch. Oh, that is a good percentage. How much does he have? This guy has 208 health as well as that guy and this guy down here he has 114. Okay, um, an overwatch stance is still a smart thing. The guy down there at the end of the ramp, he can probably charge all the way up and that means you can't get him in an overwatch shot. Dodgy Dan. Let's just see. A reload? And, ooh, ooh, that is a good percentage there, Dodgy Dan. This is an Overwatch stance for Dodgy Dan. Taking anyone on who seems to not stand still. Ah, you probably should have taken that one go coin dagger down there. Let's see, Sheldon Shewise, we're gonna move you a little further up this ramp. Just far enough to maybe he needs to move out of his blue waypoint and if he does that we got a few overwatch shots and you can take a parry stance you still got 154 health that's pretty good now let's just see uh you have space enough for uh a little gold coin one dagger I didn't even think about the fact that he may be in an ambush stance, actually. A parry stance. 
of 54%. All right. So now it's their hero's turn. He's over here. Okay, what's going on? Here he comes. Well done, Teddy Toothpick. Well done. Oh, yeah. A new round has started. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, but at least he left the front entrance. Okay, he's coming, he's coming, he's charging. And you are parrying again, Sheldon. This is amazing. And you see, you see, it only costs one to counterattack here. One. Okay. Ah, nice. Nice one. But this guy's got a load of life. He's got a lot. Let's just take a look at how much he's got. 148. Yeah, well, loads and loads. Well, there is nothing to it, really. Let's just stretch the point here a little bit before we reload. That was a good reload. <laughs> and let's see. He's engaged. If I take him out, we can't loot. If we take this guy out, we may be able to loot this turn. Ah, that was too bad. Did, did you see that? that I, I believe there was there was just a pigeon, you know, flying right by just as I fired that arrow. I'm, I'm pretty sure. You didn't see it? You didn't see it? Damn pigeon. Damn pigeon. I don't know how many times they have to roll the dice for a route test. Guess they're not going to do it before the next one has been put out of action as they call it but an overwatch stands right here does he climb up or does he go for the front entrance no he's just running around the wall showing off his big weapons Oi, nice one huh nice one and the pigeon is gone now so okay he's coming around that way okay that is a lootable position let's just see how much life he has he has 93 wounds. Maybe the smartest thing to do would be to delay. And we could take the shooters if he's put out of action. We could jump down, loot, and climb up again. All right, a delay for the captain. And now we're gonna see if we can lay some serious damage on you, yeah. Maybe it's not possible to shoot him from up here, from the position you're in. And maybe you're even too close. Let's just see here. No, 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 you can't. I don't see it. Nope, you can shoot others, but not that guy down there. That's kind of a pity. I think the Overwatch would be the right thing to do. There are probably gonna be more running around right in front of us, so why not just, you know, pick him out? You, let's reload here. Okay, and let's see if we can get him. Yeah, no, that's not him. Okay, so we can't shoot him downstairs. We're just gonna have to see if we can find this spot again. Now, an overwatch stance is smart. Let's just see, like this. Okay, and you. Let's see if, can you, you can fire down at him, okay. Hmm, that is a good percentage, actually. Uh, yeah. And if you make it an aim shot, it will be 93. Let's do this. Ah, that's too bad, a 93% chance, and I roll 98. Okay, let's get you off this ramp. There is nothing more you can do right now, so let's just stretch this point like this, and then we reload, and we still got one movement point, so we could get you inside this house, just not in the way. Okay, and you can end your turn here. Now, Mason... We didn't get much damage done on him this turn. So what would be smart to do would be to put him in a parry stance. He would have three counterattacks. Yeah, we're just gonna wait until you come up here. You'd be so much easier to loot. So 
Shelton Shieldwise. Let's see you dazzle the opponents with your skills or they will show off. Hmm. Okay. Okay. But you did a good counterattack before. So, uh, so let's try that again. You're really taking some hard hits up there, Sheldon. And you're gonna take a parry stance right here, and it would be the hero's turn next. And they will end the round. We need some more warriors, if you ask me. And not uh, a new marksman. I don't really know why the captain hired a new marksman. Ooh! Ah, that's too bad. I mean, that fence there, Teddy. It's jumping. Okay, he is going for the front door. A new round. A new round has started. Wee! That's nice, Shelton. Shieldwise. Oh my gosh. Oh, hey, he can dodge too. Okay. Okay. And you can parry. You can parry. How about you, dude? Oh, Shelton. Shieldwise. They only had one counter attack. Okay. So let's just. Ah, uh, if we stretch a bit. Reload right here. Let's just see how we are doing this. And let's... Let's reload. See what our options are. Let's just take a look at this. And 82. Even though he's a quarter to half covered. I rolled 98 last time, so I'm gonna take this shot just to be sure. Let's do it this way. Yeah! Yeah, that's right. That's right. That was a message from Mage Master. Um, let's just see. That hero is coming up through the stairs, or at least he wants to. Let's reload right here. And I still have a movement point. Let's just see if I can... I can still give him a shot. But an overwatch would probably be the best thing right here. So, so an overwatch stands here. If you ask me, we really need another warrior instead of another marksman. But the captain speaks so well of Nero the hero. Oh, oh, now he's going for the stairs. Okay, I am feeling a bit exposed up there. Let's just see. This guy, he, it's, it's his turn now. So, question is what he is going to do. The captain should delay. Let's just see what he's doing. It may hurt. Because he's not in a defensive stance. Let's see. Oh, you went into an ambush down there. Now, let's see. Let's see if, if you would like some lead. Um. Yup. Ha <laughs> ha, that's good, Herman Henchman. You took it without any aiming or anything. Now, let's, let's just see. Um, this is the point where we need an extra warrior. So... If you switch your weapons, could you be able to cover this door? You actually can't switch weapons. There's no problem in that. We are just gonna reload. And this is where you need to show that you can dodge as well. We're gonna place you in front of this door. And we're gonna put you in a dodge stance of 0%. How about that, Herman Hedgeman? But that's the most defensive percentage you can get. Zero percent. Teddy Toothpick. You're getting a new warband eye in the sky marksman dude colleague tomorrow. Let's just see. You can actually take that guy. And he's the hero. Maybe you could stop his advance with an overwatch. Right there. Like that. The captain keeps talking about this Nero hero guy. He seems very happy that he has recruited him. There must be some plan. The captain doesn't do anything without laying a plan. And Perry says is his plan for now. And dodgy Dan. Let's see if we can get you up. We can. Okay, where is... Let's just take a real quick look here. He's got 40. And dodgy Dan can hurt him 36, so he can't kill him with one shot. However... However, he could get in here and protect the rest of us. Maybe stop the approach of someone coming in through this way. So this is a good place to place an overwatch stance. Right here. Okay. And Donnie 
Dodger. They would be much easier if he would just come up here. So let's see if a parry stance wouldn't be the smart thing to do. And Sheldon, shield wise, let's see your skills once more. <laughs> this time you forgot to dodge, huh? And now, a parry stance for you, Sheldon, shield wise. Like this. This is coming to an end, this mission, I think. He just took an ambush over there. A new round. Oi, nice dodging, Sheldon. Nice dodging. And here comes a counterattack for you. <laughs> okay, and you can bury as well. Oh my god, Sheldon. You truly are our white knight, aka the surgeon. Let's see. This guy. With an aim shot, 62. That seems fine. Ah, there are a lot of pigeons around here. Did you see that one? Flapping right in front of my arrows. Okay. Okay. Let's just reload here. And, uh, but he's going to come up now. And an overwatch here might actually stop his approach by the stairs. So let's see. Here he comes. Dear, oh, nice one, Dodgy Dan. That was a good one. What? <laughs> okay, he's down there feeling safe in an ambush. And you, Captain, you did a smart thing before when you delayed. Oh, nice one, Teddy Toothpick. You trying to shoot at us, at our captain? You trying to shoot at us? Okay, dodgy Dan, let's just see. Conrad Krieger. He has a lot of health down there. Uh, stretch the point and reload. And maybe, maybe you should, once again, Take an overwatch stance here. Yeah. You're too far away from that dude shooting his bow at our captain. So maybe the smartest thing that Herman Henchman can do is protect the rest of us. And he's gonna switch weapons. Then we can put him into an ambush stance. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Maybe the smartest thing to do would be to get in an ambush right here. Because that means that some of the warriors that are down outside on, on the ramp, they would be able to come and assist if he comes up that way. Or if he comes up this way, they'll have to run all the way around the stairs. But it doesn't matter. This is a good place for an ambush stance. Okay. This dude has no life. Whatsoever. No life. So let's just see. He's gonna jump down. And get hurt. And you. You need to, to go away. Yes. You, you need to go away. Let's see what he's got here. Ah, that was a short bow. And a great axe. Okay. I believe the short bow gives a little more than the than the ordinary axe. We have a great axe already. So there are not much down here, really. Let's see if we can if we can get back up. We nice captain nice that was very good and let's see if we can get past oh we can get past all of them up there that was very good and that means that the captain can also assist with this ambush up here this is good and teddy toothpick let's just see you're a good climber and there are two things down there for you. So let's just jump down here. All right, Teddy. Let's 
Let's see if you can... Oh, look at all that nice word stone out there and it doesn't seem as if we are going to be able to get any of it. Let's see if we can get you up. Oh yes, that is so lucky. That is so good. That is so good. You need to end your turn up here. That's That's all you can do. And that makes you pretty vulnerable. Let's just see, Sheldon. I'm looking so much forward to every time you fight. <laughs> yes! It's like art, really. Um, let's just see how much... Ah, oh, he's got 59. That's not much. That's not much. We're going into a parry because you're blocking the way up. Now, Donnie Dodger, you should maybe be taken over after Sheldon Shearwise. But maybe the smartest thing to do would be to keep you up here in case someone attacks Teddy Toothpick. And and we can put you in a in a parry stance right here. And let's see what the hero does. Ooh, they successfully rolled another route test. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. A new round has started. Nice, Perry Sheldon. Once again, you are amazing. Let's see that yeah. counter attack right there. Ay, yay, yay. Okay, that was that was like 17. It wasn't so bad. Uh, well, the stairways are pretty well covered. So maybe if if I if I stretch the blue point a bit higher, I might get a better angle at this guy. Let's just see if we can stretch it a little more. Like that. And then an aimed shot. We there are many pigeons today. Many. Okay. Uh, okay. So it's going to be a uh, uh, reload up here and and I could cover the stairways as well with uh, with an overwatch stance so reload it is now if this guy chickens out and decides to flee I'll still get him in an overwatch stance oh he's coming he's coming he's a nice one that was a nice one dodgy dander he's going through the other stairs Ooh, you see you see that you think you're coming up smart <laughs> And you're stepping right into it. Uh oh. Nice. Dodging Herman Henchman. Oi, he just had one attack. Okay. Okay, so you so you you are going because maybe, just maybe we could charge. Could we charge up the stairs? Can't charge. Oh, you can make a swift charge. Nice one. Oh, that's too bad. You just missed his toe. He's got more attacks. You see, even an ankle can hurt. And then there is a parry stance of 92%. That's right, 92%. And Teddy Toothpick. Let's just see here. He's got 30. And this guy in here, he has 53. That's not much. So we're gonna we're gonna reload, and then we're gonna see if we can find a good position in here where he is. Oh, that's a nice one, 54. I guess we could possibly take him out this turn, but they are good at rolling route tests. So this is gonna be an Overwatch stance, right there. Don't you, Dan? You're not gonna reload your weapons. You're not gonna reload them. You are gonna switch. I'm gonna switch weapons here. And then you you go to this side over here. How about if we engage? Now he may take take some damage. <laughs> good, that's good. The problem is now that Dodgy Dan could take some damage. He could. Oh you? You still here? Let's do something about that. Shall we? Yep. See the hero, he's probably gonna come running up right now. He's probably gonna do that. 
So the smart thing to do would maybe just be to see if I can get up the ramp without that's it like this and then we're gonna put him into an ambush right here oh yeah that's a good one and let's see what have you got in your bag you got three slots and you got a one gold coin dagger let's just see here you had some you had some good stuff for Danny Dodger's inventory there. And let's just move up the ramp here as well. You see that that hero? He's gonna come running straight up. If we place Danny Dodger on the ramp so he has a possibility of disengaging backwards. And then in a pair he stands here and you have two counterattacks. It is the hero you're up against here, Danny Dodger. Let's see. Do you have anything to loot? You have four empty slots. So if this guy has anything, and it get him yeah. back. Yes, that is right. Yeah. Okay. It was a battleground victory. We got some wordstone and some scavenging. We lost no one. Killed six out of the seven of them. And Sheldon Shieldwise, a.k.a. the surgeon, a.k.a. our white knight, was honored most valuable warrior. And the mission only costed 34 gold coins in upkeep expenses so overall a successful mission and the captain got two enemies put out of action and is so close to ranking up and he got an advancement point in physical nice Donny Dodger he also got a physical advancement point and did a good job of Standing on the ramp, right? Teddy Toothpick, you did some misses out there today with that rifle. I believe that fence was a bit jumpy. Anyway, you got a martial advancement point. Maybe you should use it for ballistics. Huh? And Dodgy Dan, you ranked up to level 4 and you got two skill points for training and was given a mental advancement point. Nice. Well done, Dodgy Dan. And Sheldon Shieldwise, what eminent work you did out there. And you put two out of action and were the most valuable warrior. Nice. You got two advancement points, one in mental and one for martial. Well done, Sheldon. Well done. And there I am. And look at this. I ranked up. I got two spell points and two skill points for training. So this, I can train spells as well. I think it's a bit too early though. And I got one enemy put out of action. I now have four missions survived and four enemies put out of action. I am so close to finishing my contract. And I have a physical and a martial advancement points. Nice. And Herman Henchman has ranked up as well. Wow, he got an offense point too. So now he can attack twice with a one-handed weapon. Awesome. And he did a good job too out there today. Nice. And we got two XP points for the warband. And we are closing in on our ranking up as a warband. The firing squad are truly progressing. Now, let's see who got what at yesterday's sweet moment. And the captain, he was a bit cranky about the little bit of looting we did out there today. There was actually nothing for anyone today. But he has been waiting to open up this last slot in his inventory. He now has space enough for five different items. And by getting one more strength point over here, he can actually open that last one. This could be useful. And Donny Dodger, he also got an advance point in physical and is using that for strength. Let's see if he can put that to good use, but not on the next mission. So he is switching to a normal quality shield because he is giving his blue good quality shield to Herman Henchman. And he will be using that shield 
on his mission. Now he was also given two advance points, one in mental and one in martial. And it's gonna go for some leadership to boost the morale a little bit here so they equal out. And of course for weapons. Nice. And Sheldon Shieldwise, our white knight, aka the surgeon, he did really well out there. He's gonna go for a little more leadership as well to boost and equalize these two a little bit. And then he's gonna go for some weapon skill. Look at that percentage down here on the parry. This is good, Sheldon, this is good. And there I am. I ranked up and I was given two advancements points, physical and martial, and I was given spell points and skill points. Look at this. And I really want this hunter skill. It, it only takes a day, but I need six in ballistic skill and I only have five so one of my advancements points will go for that and agility is what I'm going for physically right now. So now I can train it and it only costs 90 gold coins and we can afford that nobody's gonna notice 90 gold coins. I am gonna train this overnight for the next mission like that. Nice. Nice. And Teddy Toothpick. He made a few misses out there, maybe it was pigeons, but using an advance points for boosting ballistic skill was probably a good idea. He's also taken off his helmet and his good quality blue dagger as well, and he's giving it to Baldy Bowman, because Baldy Bowman is coming with us on this next mission and he is gonna be using not the rifle this time but he's going to try the crossbow he can fire two shots and he can reload because he has the skill of quick reload which reduces the reload cost by one this makes it possible for him to reload twice if he hasn't used any other strategy points and dodgy dan you ranked up and you were given an advance point you can use it for leadership to level out these and he was given two skill points for training and the captain wants him to train the flash parry skill and it only costs 90 gold coins and there are some gold missing anyway uh the captain is going down to sell some items and while he is i can tell you real quick about our one-armed new chef perry perry and his meal that he was preparing for us well he made oatmeal porridge for us and he mistook something in the recipe that said uh, one chip of salt he thought it said one cup of salt so unfortunately the meal was very salty and we pretty much drained half our water supply in the war camp well unfortunately the captain wasn't happy but uh, he promised that he would do better so we are looking forward to that and so the captain returns with some gold coins and dodgy dan can train the flash parry overnight Nice. And so a new damn day is dawning in Mordheim and it's time to look at the daily report. And Dodgy Dan has learned the skill Flash Perry and I have now learned the skill Hunter. Awesome. And Nero the hero has arrived in time to join us on a mission today. Now he is on a standard contract so he needs to survive five missions and put five enemies out of action. I have no doubt he will do that. And today I actually have a chance to fulfill my standard contract. This is my fifth mission today and if I put an enemy out of action today it will be the final of my standard contract and I will be a true member of the firing squad and so here is the team we are sending into Mordheim City of the Damned today and we are a party of eight today with two heroes now starting from the left me Mage Master, of course, and our big brute basher Howard Howler is coming with us on a mission today I've been looking so much forward to that 
Our captain and only captain, Mason Muckshot, is of course with us, and three warriors, Sheldon Shieldwise, Herman Henchman, and Dodgy Dan are with us today. Our eye in the sky is Baldy Bowman, and he's trying out the crossbow for the first time. And another first-timer is Nero the Hero. He is with us today, and we need to keep him safe and secure. So, let's go. And the captain has found us a hard mission today. Someone is marked for death. Both wordstone gathering and scavenging could be average, and both warbands deployed tightly around their wagons and prepare to have a go at each other. Your scouts have discovered a rival warband in the vicinity. These warriors are clustered around their wagon, making them a very attractive target. And we're in. Awesome. First things first, let's just check out the map and see who we're up against. This looks like the human mercenaries. We are up against the Saw Wardens, and these are human mercenaries, so we are up against our own. They could be ranged. And now it's time for deployment and to hear the captain's battle plan. Now I... I will be here. And the captain goes here. And Nero the hero is gonna be actually in front. This may seem weird, but the captain has a plan. And Baldy Bowman is here next to me. And now we have our three warriors. Dodgy Dan will be here. Herman Henchman will be here. Shell shield wise in the middle, and we have our big brute Basha. Now let's hear the captain's plans. Now the plan is we send Nero the hero ahead to safety up this ramp and inside this nice big house. All of the warriors will also follow up, and Baldy Bowman and I will take care of these two scavenge points. We will take it through the entrance and up and down the stairs fights and see if we need to move out. So that is the first plan. But in more time, every plan can be changed in a second. So let's deploy Howard Howler. So we're looking down the street. There are four enemies taking their turns first. Nero the hero is standing right there in the front and we need to get him to safety. I can tell you a little secret. I overheard a conversation between the captain and Nero the hero today. It turns out that Nero the hero is actually one of his twin brothers, Mark Mugshot's battle buddies. So he was one of the guys who was supposed to be recruited. Oh, oh something is happening down there. Let's just see here. Something was going on down here. Okay. Let's see. There are two marks. I can see one of them right in here. Here we are. So let's just see. 37 gold coins. You can always use gold. Look, actually, I know that it was Boldy Bowman and my task to take these two spots. But now I'm taking both of them. Oh, that's pretty helpful. I guess that pays for the whole mission right there. Let's just see. I might as well go for the wagon next. So let me put myself into an overwatch stance. Listen, Boldy Bowman. You just go and protect Nero the hero, and I'll be right here. Putting my stuff, my 64 gold coins, into the wagon. Now, Captain, let's just see. Now, Captain, let's just remove these two markers. They are done. 
And we have two more scavenge points over here. And we have some wordstone right there. I'm expecting we should get that. So, the captain is going to take a high ground with the possibility of defending Nero the hero all the way up here. Look at that. Look at that. Let's just take it right away. Let's just take it right away. We might as well do that. Let's see if there's a debuff or a buff. It was a debuff. Let's just see what happens here. A minus 10% melee resistance for two turns. Hmm. Anyway, there is an overwatch stance possibility here. Yeah, they can pass. Good. Now, overwatch. Like that. Nero the hero. I think we're going behind the wall. We're not stepping forward. We might actually spot someone and they could spot us. Now, let's see. Oh. Okay. You could come up nicely here. That's good. That's good. How about you get all the way in here? Tucked away. In an open door right here. With a good overwatch. That's nice, Nero. That's a good spot. I would have picked that spot if I could make it. Now. Baldy Bowman with his crossbow. Yeah, we can make it. Let's see if we can get you up like this. You might be stuck. Yeah, you got stuck. That's too bad, Baldy Bowman. You need some more agility. Okay, and Overwatch stands for that corner. Hmm. Okay, doesn't matter. See, you could you could try and look down this this way. Let's just see. I don't see anybody. I was pretty certain I saw some poison gases here. Hmm. We're just going to see how far we can get him. If we can't get him all the way up the ramp, this is a good spot. High ground. Nice. Okay, and an overwatch stands for Dodgy Dan. Nice. Herman Henchman. You're a little bit closer, so maybe you could actually get up the ramp. Let's just see if that is enough. Hmm. You could get up to here. It's a good spot, too. Okay. Let's take an overwatch here. I don't see anybody. Okay, Sheldon Shieldwise. Well, you guarded the ramp like an angel last time. So let's get you up on the ramp and see if you can actually do that again. Make us all feel safe. Let's see, you, you can get to this side. I believe the ring, the ring is wide enough to block the whole ramp. Right now, he has no defensive stance. But I don't think anybody is going to make it up to him right now. This is an end turn. Hmm. Anyway, I heard a conversation between the captain and Nero the hero. It turns out that Nero, the hero, is one of the captain's twin brother, Mark Markshot's battle buddies. He was supposed to be enlisted and recruited in Mark Markshot's warband, but now he's recruited with the firing squad, and he knows who the other battle buddy is. So this was what the captain was planning. Anyway, Howard Howler, let's just see. Um, you are getting up on the ramp as well. And you have a lot of movement range. So let's see if we can get you. Ah, oh, you just can't make it up to a, oh, you could be here, could you? Are you gonna block something? 
I don't think you're gonna block anything. Let's just remove these markers there. We still have two markers here, and we got a good overview here. I'm just the only one who's hanging still. So, end turn for Howard Howler. Okay. A new round has started. Oh, this is exciting. In regards to the conversation I heard between the captain and Nero the hero, we could probably expect at least one more recruitment in here. Some guy who's a shield and sword specialist from France, I think. He's the other battle buddy, so he's probably gonna be persuaded by the captain to come to us. And that way, his twin brother would probably be recruited with us as well. So we could maybe expect one or two more recruitments soon. This is exciting. Now I'm going to the wagon. And I'm just gonna place... What I have, although it's not much. I mean, slot-wise, that's a good amount of gold coins. See, I could just as well tiptoe over here and just pray. Just for a all alone buff and for a word stone buff. Tiptoe once more and see if I can gain uh, a little bit from stretching that blue point. Okay, you didn't want to close the chest. Fine. Let's just see here how far I can get. Oh, oh, I can't. This is too close. Nope. New plan. Let's just see. Um, and over here, Baldy Bowman is. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and stretch this point here and then take a delay. I hope that Baldy Bowman is gonna get up there in his next turn. And then there would be space enough for me to climb up. Let's hope that. And Mason Muckshot. Now, Captain, what are you gonna do? Maybe the smart thing right now would be to make a second front line right here with ranged weapons. Well, you are well positioned already. I don't know. Maybe you should check out those scavenge points and open windows right there. Okay. Why don't you go scavenge a little bit here? Why don't you do that? Let's see if you can stretch this. No, you can't. It doesn't matter. Let's see. Oh, the captain is gonna like you now, Nero the hero. If you bring him a good quality spear that he can enchant. Let's just move this out of the way. And there's a blue marker downstairs, probably. Anyway, let's see. This window? You just can't make it. Doesn't matter. You can take an overwatch stance right here and keep an eye on the stairs. You got good news about a good quality spear for the captain. He's gonna like that. Herman Henchman. Let's move you up the ramp. And into a good position somewhere up here, maybe. This could be good. Let's just hope that you're not blocking the way. I'm just gonna take a delay. To make sure that you're not blocking the way. If you are, I'll need to move you. Okay. And I will have to delay once more. And that's not good. That's not good. I thought I could make it. I couldn't. Not good at all. I am just gonna stretch it. And I'm gonna delay once more. And when he's moved, I can... I can only move to the climb spot. And you need to come up the ramp. You need to be up there as well. As a second frontliner. Right here. Let's just check everybody can get past you. That's good. So that means everybody would possibly be able to get past you as well. 
This is the perfect example of what the firing squad is all about. A second front line of rangers behind a first front line of melee competence. Nice! Awesome! Baldy Bowman, you just jumped out there. You made it look real easy. Now you have a pretty long range with that crossbow. Maybe you should be the one going to that window. Sorry there, Nero the hero, but right now we probably need range. Is that smart? Yeah. The two of you can share this window. Let's just see if we can spot anybody out here. No, no one. So you're just gonna take an overwatch stance right here, even though it's a very small window to shoot out of. Herman Henchman, you should just take an overwatch stance right here. Okay. And my turn. Let's just get me to this point. I can't even see the point, but I'm gonna climb up here and I'm gonna cover this hole in the wall. Wow. Yep. An overwatch. Let's just see. We haven't spotted any enemies yet. Sheldon Shieldwise. And let's see where we can find space for you up here. Now, I am soon to climb up. That will be next round. And this spot right here is not blocking anyone, so... Let's go into a 70% parry stand right there. All right. Let's see if we spot anyone down there. Doesn't seem like it. And Howard Howler. I'm telling you, this guy is huge. Whenever he swings that big halberd there, everything rumbles. Now, where could he go? The best point right now against any combat or surprises from the inside is a good ambush stance right here. This would block both the stairs and leave space for other warriors to step in and assist. This is the perfect place. And that was the end of this round. A new round has started. What's going on out there? Ooh, what's going on out there? Ooh, something happened over there, I saw it. There was another mist. Poison trap or mist of some sort. And it's my turn. Let's see if I can climb up here. 78% chance. Ouch. Okay. I just used the, another advancement point for agility. Yeah, you see? That one worked. Okay. Let's see if we can find a good spot for me. This would probably be a good spot for a nice overwatch. Maybe I should have delayed. Oh, I see someone. I see someone. We should have looked at the map. Look at this. Both of our marked warriors. Their leader and a warrior, a henchman. They're both the marked ones are the first one we spot. I should have taken a delay. Anyway, the captain. You should get maybe also a little up like this. Let's just see. This is a... Uh, this is a good position for an overwatch stance. We are gonna stop them in their progress. Just look at that. And Nero the hero. There are no other windows, are there? Doesn't look that way. No. Okay, Nero. We are just gonna let you check out the scavenge point down below. Let's just see. We can sneak you around here, can we do that? Ooh, it is so close. Ooh, so there is a, there is a scavenge point right there. You just took one spear. So maybe you should take this one and you still would have another step. Yeah, 
I'm not gonna look out that door. Not with you. Greta's boom. Yeah, well, that's probably five or six gold coins right there. Okay, and let's, let's remove this marker right here and then let's get you somewhere over behind this table so they don't charge you straight from the door. This is a little bit vulnerable spot, but we respect your courage. So an overwatch stands for Nero the hero and Herman Henchman. Now you are so well placed right here. An overwatch stands right here. Let's just place us all up here on this ramp. It will be a shooting gallery if they turn up. Let's see what you can do. Can you spot anyone out there? No, you cannot. You cannot. Okay, then the smartest thing we could do is probably to get you on the other side of these stairs. If I just break the line down there, I might be able to get far enough. All the way around here, yes. So let's, uh, let's start covering this front door. Let's just see. So now there's also this guy. And they may be going this way and up. Or they may be going this way around, up the ramp. Or this way around and up the ramp. Any which way, we got him. So let's guard the front entrance with an overwatch stance for Baldy Bowman. Hmm. Wonder who gets first blood today? Sheldon's shield wise, you are probably not the one getting first blood today with all this firepower right here. Now the plan is that Sheldon shield wise should be able to have space enough to fight. This is a good place to put up a 70% parry stance right there. Oh, they are over there. Let's see. One of the mocked ones is just behind that wall. And Howard Howler is still here. Now this is an okay place for now. He has a long movement range and he can make it anywhere down that ramp if needed. This is a perfect place for an ambush stance. And now the round is coming to an end. A new round has started. Oh, here he comes, here he comes, it's their leader, hi there. Oh, there, there, there was a cat, was that a cat that ran in front? Where are you going? Oh, he saw the shooters. They are coming through the front door. So what I am gonna do is I, I would like to get that first blood that you just cheated me from. I'm gonna place myself right here, huh, Baldy? Let's take this. Now the question is if I should take a delay. First of all, I'm gonna reload. And I'm not gonna take a delay. I'm just gonna take an overwatch stance right here. We need to get Nero the hero up here. And Mason Muckshot, let's just check out the ring right here. See, this ring, it still opens up a little bit for someone to get past Sheldon Shieldwise Perry stance and that is okay because inside we could have an ambush side even on both sides of this door if needed but for now we actually need to get some shooting on the stairs now let's see if we have space for one more maybe Mason could be here in an overwatch stance is that smart I think so. Now, Nero, you better come up here. Oh, that's one more step. Oh, we're still doing good. Hmm. Let's see. We have Bolty Bowman over there. Let's just see if you have a better chance if anyone is coming in this way. Anyone running towards the the front door. Let's try this position for you, Nero. There is a ranged warrior. 
Let's just see here because they do have a ranged warrior over here. And he's still inside the house I can see. He's here somewhere right there. Now this guy, he's visible. But this guy is around the corner and we can't see him right now. So let's see. Ah, he's very close to the front door. Question is if he's going to go this way or go this way now that we've moved some of the troops. We still have shot at the open door over there. So, an overwatch stance for Baldy Bowman right here is fine. It's fine. Their leader is going to have quite a surprise. Dodgy Dan. Actually, I think we are leaving the ramp. It seems as if the front door is an easy place to cover, and if they should turn up down here, we could have an ambush stance on each side of this door real quick. So, if we place Dodgy Dan behind the corner just here in an overwatch stance, like that, and then we need to move Herman Henchman, yes. We need to move you too. This means there will be no shooting on the ramp. But once they come up, there will be. So Sheldon Shieldwise is the last one coming in from the ramp. And he's going to take an ambush stance behind the corner. Let's just check the map. This guy's still visible, this guy's still inside the house, and this guy is still around the corner. Yes. And Sheldon Shieldwise, let's just sneak you around this corner and get you up the ramp and into a nice ambush stance right here covering both the stairs and the doorway. Let's just see that and block the door from the inside. But this is a good place for an ambush stance. Like that. Oh, we can see him. We can see him. Oh, this front door is being watched by many eyes. And Howard Howler. This is the best place to be actually right now. Um. Lots of space up here for melee combat, so an ambush stance at the top of the stairs right here is the best. So, the end of the round is coming close. A new round has started. <laughs> He's coming. He's coming. Nice! Ooh, how far is he going? Oh, another miss. That was a warning shot, actually. Just a warning shot. Oy, another warning shot. How many warnings do you need? Meet Howard Howler. <laughs> ay, 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 you gave him 19. Okay, look this. Yep. Yep. Okay, you got one more. And one more. Uh, you're never gonna be good friends with Howard Howler. I can tell you that for sure. What's going on out there? He's down to 47. But Howard Howler already took 50 damage. Ouch. Now. Let's reload. Right here. 35 is not a good percentage, but I got enough strategy points for an aim shot. Take my chances. Ooh, it was foggy there. Uh, I mean, there was a, probably a fly in my eye as well. I uh, just, I mean, that was just the moment I let down. Anyway, we are going for an overwatch stance covering this front door. Okay. Mason Muckshot, you have some firepower and some ballistic skill. Still a 35. You too could try this one. 
Yeah, that's right. That is right. Oh, yeah. Meet the captain. And he has taken an overwatch stance over the stairs. Once more. And Nero the hero. Let's just see. Can you still not shoot anyone? Probably not. How about you participate a little bit, huh? Maybe we need to move Nero. Let's see, you got a 10% chance. You don't have much of a chance there. So, maybe this is a, a better spot for you, or maybe, could you shoot between a lot of us? Yeah, you could probably cover this door as well. Well done, Nero. Yeah, let's take an overwatch stance right there. We got a lot of shooters around these stairs. A lot of shooters. And Herman Henchman could still be a shooter. He needs to reload though. And then... 29. No. No. You two are gonna get over here. Looking down upon those stairs and... If someone dares to try and come up these stairs right now... Now there is an open door right here. So what we could do was just can reload and you can stretch that blue point here a bit right here. Yes. And then oops. Like this. And then you can switch weapons like this. Yes. And go back a little further, even. This is a good ambush stance right here. Taking anyone coming in through that door. Well done, Dodgy Dan. You're really thinking about our security right now. Now, a reload for first shot with the crossbow. There's a 33% chance, but that doesn't matter. The point is... Yeah, well... That was probably that same fly. The point is, look, Baldy Bowman can actually reload and get into an overwatch stance with the crossbow. The crossbow is a powerful weapon and it can shoot almost as far as the hunting rifle. So this is a good upgrade. Ooh, someone else has come into our view. Someone else. Who may that be? Let's just see. Right there. Uh-huh. He's here. Okay. And he has 17 health. Or wounds. Or life. And Sheldon may actually want to change that. Not with a charge. It's not necessary. Still have an attack for an ambush. Hi there, leader. Ooh. And that was a good dodge. But you know what? That was also a good dodge. I didn't think this was gonna happen. Now you can meet a 70% parry chance from Sheldon Shield guys, AKA our white knight. He's doing pretty good, that leader. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, I'm not too happy about the situation now. Howard Howler. Okay, let's see, Howard Howler. You want to talk to this captain? Oh, he's a good dodger. But you know what? Howard Howler, he can go on and on. Oh, yeah. Now, let's see. Ooh, there is a spear of venom. And a shield of tenacity, plus 20% to all alone test, that's okay. And now we may get some debuffs. Anyhow, Howard Howler has a full inventory. Ah, he did get something. I can't exactly see what it is, but he got something. Okay, Sheldon Shieldwise is in a parry stance. So we can move him over here and 
set him right here in front of these stairs that should be blocking off in a 73 percent parry stance i like it now let's see how this round ends there is one thing we forgot though I was so eager to loot that we didn't get the name tag. We need to get that name tag. How could we forget this? A new round has started. This is half our optional objective, which gives three XP points in itself. So I just decided I'm going to be the one securing half those three XP points if we get the other half, of course. So I'm going to go over here and loot and get this out of the way. How could we be so unfocused? Right there. Objective yes, completed. Objective completed. Objectives updated. Yes. It's all updated, and you know what? We might as well take those objectives away. Don't know if I've said this before, but I have two shots. So let's see a nice percentage on this shot. He's not one of the marked ones. Another one is out there, standing right out there. And there's a warlock right there. And there are many more. Oh, they are coming. It seems as if this house attracts them like flies to a turd. Anyway, let's take a shot. Yeah, hello there, meet mage master. Now, let's get back in line, so to speak. Let's reload right here. And let's get over here where I was standing on a little spot right there. Yes, this was the good spot. And an overwatch stands for mage master. Thank you. Okay, now let's focus and not forget anymore. Mason Maksha. We have a good ambush by that door, we have a good parry blocking that stairway, and we have a good parry over there blocking the access to the rest of us. So let's just call this our camp. An overwatch stands for Mason Mugshot. Nero the hero? Hmm. You want to have a, a first blot shot in more time? Why don't you pick him out? Yeah, Nero. Take your first shot. Yeah, sure. Go for it. Yeah, how did that feel? Your first blood in Mordheim. Nice, Nero. Well done. Well done. Now you could get back in here and still have enough for a reload. Well done, Nero. Well done. And we can just spot an enemy right out there. Okay. Well done, Nero the hero. Well done. Now, let's see if we if we pull back a bit. Yes, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So, the thing is Baldy Bowman cannot use any other strategy points if he needs to reload twice. So, right now, he's a quarter to a half covered. We are just going to see why don't you just take a shot here, Baldy Bowman? You can do this. You can do this. Okay, let's see how much damage. 35! Nice shot there, Baldy Bowman. Nice shot. Actually, this was a good spot. So let's reload. Oh, yes. You have a 90% chance right now. No, we need to have that Overwatch security right now. So, like that. Herman Henchman. Oh, you can see him out there as well, but you can't reach him with your low range on the dueling pistol. So an overwatch stance will take him on his way up the stairs. That would be fine. That would be fine. Okay, so the camp is set up. Well done, Baldy Bowman. Well done. Awesome. Okay, here's another one. Let's just take a look here. Let's see. This guy was the one we shot at. He's lost a little bit 
of his life. This guy has also lost a little life. That was my and Nero the Hero's arrows. The warlock is over here. The marked one is hiding somewhere. He's over here. He's inside the house. Oh, come on. Anyway, they are coming. Nice. And Sheldon Shieldwise, you should just cover the stairway over here. See, Howard Howler, he's gonna move away from that spot right there. So, an ambush stands here for you, blocking the both the stairs. It all feels secure. Dodgy Dan, you're well placed. An ambush stance right here is perfect for you. Like that. And Dodgy Dan can flash Harry now. Well, let's just take a look at these stairs, shall we? Hmm. We're all just standing here, looking straight down there. They take one single step inside that door, it's gonna rain down on them. Howard Howler, you should go over here for an ambush stance. This is the best place you can be right now. And there's lots of space for melee combat right there. You got Dodgy Dan with a Flash Perry right opposite you. This is awesome. A new round has started. Now let's see what happens down at that front door. Who is going to come up? Who is going to charge head on? Okay, you're trying the side entrance. Interesting. That's a one-armed chef. Oh, I mean, a marksman. Oh, here comes the warlock. Here comes the warlock. Hmm, let me just see. Why can't I shoot that guy out there? Why not? Hmm, interesting. Is, is the captain in the way? Is that the problem? He could shoot out the door this way. So why can't I? Let's just be very careful. If I go too far, he's going to ambush straight through the door. And none of our ambushes are going to work. So I got to be careful not to trigger his... Ooh, I can shoot him here, actually. So, of course I will. Hello. Ah! Nice. And now I'm just going to go back, right back here. At my good center spot. Reload and cover the front entrance with an overwatch stance. He's going to come through that door and he's going to get quite a surprise. Mason Muckshot, you are first of all going to reload. Let's see. Oh, you got a good shot percentage right here. Question is if we should make it a 92. Why not? <gasps> Ooh, nice one. Oh, that's awesome. I'm pretty sure that hurt. So it's a reload and an overwatch. Nice. And Nero the hero. Why don't you just choose a target right here? Like that. Let's be certain that you make some damage. Ah, oh, nice one Nero. 25. That was a good one. You could just reload. You just take your dodge off 25%. That's good. And you haven't fired your shot at all. Anyone coming in through that door or anyone coming up these stairs, they're gonna meet your lead. So an overwatch stands for Herman Henchman. Nice. We're in a good position here. And you keep shooting and shooting. That's nice. So you can reload. We and ninety-three percent. Of course, you're gonna take that. Anyone else? No, but that doesn't matter. Let's see how much damage you can do now, Baldy. Oh, that wasn't much damage, actually. But you can reload and go into an Overwatch stance. Two shots with a crossbow. Nice. That's good planning. An Overwatch stands for Baldy Bowman. Oh, here he comes. Gee, that was a nice one. Nice! Ooh, another shot! Ooh, welcome to the shooting range! You're the target, pal. That wasn't too good. 
I was like hitting the rail. Oh, here he comes. And another shot for you right there. Did he charge around the corner? Anyway, Howard Howler, he's got something to say. <laughs> that was a quick one. All right. He didn't have much life. Anyway, Dodgy Dan, you just forgot where you were. Focus! Now you're on your knees. This is bad. Oh, man, you were focused on eluding. Okay, Sheldon Shieldwise, you need to step in here, and you need to do it fast. This is bad. So, Sheldon, please help us out here. We, he had a counterattack as well. Ten damage. Hmm. Listen. You should attack, Sheldon. 70% is still not good enough, but 95% attack chance, that's what we're going to do here. And then you take the parry. That's right. This is bad. This is really bad. We got Dodge Dan on his knees and a one-armed chef or whatever right here with a dagger and a dagger is pretty difficult to defend against this is so bad and we were focused on that looting and howard howler could just loot anyway an axe and a hammer an axe and a hammer that is actually nothing this was what we risked everything for and dodgy dan is on his knees for an axe and a hammer there was one thing we could do could take one of these and put the word stone back like this and they will stay there till next round these two things will just disappear but the word stone will stay okay so howard howler maybe you shouldn't engage too much up on the stairs anymore so maybe we should take you to this side to just block anyone trying to go around the stairs and right here you take a 73 percent parry chance okay this is bad a new round has started we nice one we even better awesome He's taking a dodge stance, but there is something that hit. Sheldon Shewise, something is wrong with his head. It's like his helmet is like glowing. Wonder what that is. And over there comes a warlock. He stepped into a trap, I think. Sounded that way. Okay, we need to help assist and do anything we can over here. First of all, let's see. This guy's down to 48. This guy, is he going behind us somehow? Oh, he's over here. He can't get up anywhere, this place. He, can, he can't get up anywhere. So he's probably going to come up this ramp as well. Okay, reload. And assist over there. Let's just see. I, I can't hit. I can't get a beat on him. This is the best I can do. 77. Now let's see here, you mine hole. Ah! Yeah, that's right. You hurt Dodgy Dan, and I'll hurt you. Let me just see. We're gonna give you two shots. Or should we take a look out here? And see, see, he's down there. I can see you. And you're a warlock like me. Question is what I'm gonna do here. I think the smartest thing to do is get a little bit of distance and then take an overwatch stance right here. This distance is going to take the stairs over there, the stairs right there, and the door right there. I can reload here and I can't move anywhere else now. And then we are taking an overwatch stance right there. Okay. Now, Mason, let's just see what do you have here you have an oil bomb you have poultice which can remove one open wound effect that's good and you got smelling salts there's a 35 percent chance to remove a stun effect now this could be relevant right let's just see if we can reload first while we stretch this a bit 
Stretching, yes. So, reload. Yes. Let's stretch the blue marker a little bit. Over here, let's see. There it is stretched. Now let's see if we can find this. There's the poultice and the smelling salts. No, we need to get closer. Okay, so we could shoot. Should we? Yeah. That was not a good shot. Sorry, Captain. Let's not talk about that because the story goes the Captain never misses. Now let's see. Do we have the possibility of the smelling salts? There it is. And let's give it to you, Dodgy Dan. 35% chance. Now please. Ah! That didn't seem to work. That's too bad. So, how about the poultice? You see, Dodgy Dan now has an open wound right there. There's a plus 5% injury chance after this battle. We don't want him injured. But it costs three. Maybe the smartest thing right now is to wait with that open wound thing. And we're gonna reload. And there is still one movement possibility to get all the way in here. And an overwatch stands for the captain. What a pity that smelling salt didn't work. It would have been good to have Dodgy Dan on his feet without any debuffs from the stun. Now Nero the hero, let's see. Do you have an arrow? You have an arrow ready. Why can't you shoot him? It would be nice of you to just get your first kill, huh? How about that? Getting your first kill? Let's put you here. Let's give you an aimed shot. You can't make 30 damage, but you can do some. Oh, look at that. Ah! Nice situated. I would call that a pure headshot. Nice. And we can get you back over here and you can reload. And this is so good, Nero. This is so good. Reload for you. And an intern. And Baldy Bowman. You can reload, and you can shoot, and you can reload again, but let's see if you can get a beat on this guy over here. No, you can't. And you can't move, so... What would be the smart thing to do? I'm trying to move you a little bit around here to see if you can get a beat on him, but you can't. So you're just going to keep an eye on this... So we're just gonna take an overwatch stance right here, like that. Weird thing that he can't be shot over there. Herman, henchman, you should be able to. First we reload. All right, a 51% chance. Well, you should be able to reload after this, so let's take a chance of 51. Oh, nice one, let's just see. Let's just see, you got four slots, and both Dodgy Dan and Sheldon Shieldwise are over there. They can loot, so you don't need to loot. Well done, Herman Henchman, well done. You can reload and end your turn. Nice. And that was a stun recovery right there. Yeah, it's going to take a turn before you get your strategy and offense points back and we're just gonna loot here let's see two one gold coin daggers right there hmm i guess he used his daggers for kitchen knives i guess anyway that was two gold coins there are still enough strategy points for an extra little bit of looting over here these two are still there so now they're not it doesn't matter. And then we're gonna move you over here in an ambush stance and let's hope the captain will use his poultice to remove your open wounds before this mission ends. An ambush stance for you, Dodgy Dan. Sheldon Shearwise, let's just check out what is this thing? Oh, you have been taunted. Plus two SP cost to flee and delay and disengage. That's not things you do. You may delay. Now, I don't see anyone out this door. 
Let's just step out here for a second. Oh, somebody's shooting. Oh, you missed. Ha, <laughs> you missed. And I spent a strategy point for your miss. Was that you down there? No, it wasn't. Who was that shooting? Who was that shooting? Was that you? Oh, Rudiger Eckstein. You're close to the ramp. Anyway, well done, Sheldon. You provoked a shot. Yeah, anyway, this is a good ambush. Stance, place. Okay. Okay. Let's just see. They're taking some moves out there. Let's just look down upon that front entrance. Somebody is loading. Oi! Nice one, Baldy Bowman. I just heard the shot. And you shooting back. So you shooting back. Uh-huh. Here's a ranger down there. He's got a pretty bunch of targets right up here. Okay. Hmm. You're gonna put him in an ambush stance right here. Like this. This is good. Okay. And the round is coming to an end. Let's just see what happens out there. A new round has started. This is Dodgy Dan with an open wound. I do not like this. I do not like it. Something is happening. I think the warlock is trying to climb that wall down there. Hmm. Do I dare take a look? I could look from this corner maybe. Can't see him anywhere. Let's take a look at the map. Where is he? Oh, he didn't make the climb, so he's probably running around. Yeah, there he is. So he's right down here. Now, he had a shield and a sword or an axe or something like that, but it wasn't a ranged weapon. Let's just see if we can spot him through this door. I can spot him down there. I can shoot. He's half and quarter. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to loot my way out Without using any strategy points, I'm just gonna loop my way out this door. A little bit ahead every time, stretching that point. That strategy point right there. And we're gonna loot again. Let's see if I can get a better hit chance. Let's just see. I can stretch it this far. Let's just see. Yeah, 87, high ground, overhead, everything. Okay, so, mister, here's a little greeting from one warlock to another. Yup. And I can reload. I got two shots. Did you know that? You probably knew that. Okay, right now, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna loot my way back, actually. A little... A few loots here would get me a little further into the room. I want to switch places with the captain. Because the captain needs to give Dodgy Dan some poultice. So that his open wound doesn't result in an injury when he gets back. So what I'm going to do here is, oh I could get far, I could get pretty far. I'm going to delay myself over here, right here, and then the captain should go and give some poultice, right here, let's just see, there is the poultice, you need to give it to Dodgy Dan, like that. Okay, it looks as if he got it. Let's just check that he doesn't have any open wounds anymore. He doesn't. He's still got stun recovery, but he doesn't have any open wounds. Nice. Okay, so we're not going back home with someone who has a chance of a big injury. There might still be a chance for an injury, though, unfortunately. Now we need to be smart about the placement of the captain. He's gonna get all the way out here. And Overwatch stands for the captain. And Nero the hero. You should give it all you got. Let's just 
deal some damage right now and then get out. Okay, that was a 95% chance and you rolled a hundred. Listen, you gotta roll better. Anyway, you're gonna reload this and you need to get out of the way. So somewhere like here or something. Nobody's gonna get past Howard Howler, so let's place you here. And Herman Henchman. You already have your loaded pistols. Let's see if you could... Oh, you can't shoot that far. Ah, oh, what a pity that was. If you stand here, you're an easy target for him. So maybe you should get to this side over here. But when he gets up the stairs right there or right over there, you may have a better shot chance. And Overwatch stands for Herman Henchman. And it is my turn again. He's gonna shoot at me if I'm here. And that means he's gonna stay put, probably. And that would be a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Oh yes, you're taking chances now. You're going just a little bit to the side out here, like this. You're gonna reload. Oh yes, look at that percentage. Let's see what damage you can inflict. Ooh, 36 again. You're in the 30s. It's nice. This is really a good weapon. Gonna reload again and take an overwatch stance. Well done, Baldy Bowman. Well done. Now the two of us may get shot at. We may. And you've been taunted. You're gonna take an ambush stance right there, Sheldon Shieldwise, and we're all gonna feel safe when you do so. Nice. So let's see what's happening outside. We're just waiting. Just wait. Oh, it's his turn down there. What is he doing? <laughs> We 43, that was a painful one. He only has one shot. And dodgy Dan. He's got another assignment. He's by this door, closing it off in an ambush. With Sheldon Shearwise. Howard Howler, you should stay here as well. That ambush stance is a good spot. Let's just see. Someone coming up these stairs. A new round has started. Okay. So there's someone we haven't seen yet. Who's taking their moves out there. And here is the warlock. Now let's see what he does. Is he coming up? I can hear someone climbing. Okay. Okay. I got that fly in my eye again. I mean, these flies. Look at him. Look at him out there, he's got a nice looking arrow. Okay, he's a hard target. We all missed. There is a curse on us today. What did he just do? Blinding lights. Oh, I know that spell. Do you know Sheldon <laughs> you was? You will. I really like that arrow sticking right out of your side of your head. Okay. Now, Mr. Warlock, standing there in the light, I got a lot of strategy points. What is wrong with this guy? Is he impossible to actually target? We've had four misses out of four shots. I don't like that. Now, he's down there as well. There's a 95% chance. I am gonna move away from the stairs now. I'm gonna move away, but I still wanna give this guy a shot. I can't shoot the guy down there in the hall. That means he can't shoot me, I guess. So, an overwatch stands here, like this. And Mason Muckshot, you need to reload and give it all you got. This guy, he's so hard to hit. We're gonna try an 85. Finally, we broke that curse. All right. So, it's time to reload once more. 
Uh, he's down to 222. Let's just see. Wee, nice one. All right. Awesome. We're going to keep you here. And all you can do is end the turn. And Nero the hero, you have some blinding lights on you. You can shoot an aimed shot at 70. Let's see if you can give him. Ah, that was close. We've had seven shots and five misses. This is bad. You could still move around, but you're gonna take a dodge stance of 20% right there. And wait for your next arrow. Now, Baldy Bowman, please lay some heavy damage on this dude while you sneak away from that guy down there. First of all, let's reload. Come on, Baldy. He's got 136 wounds or life down there, but this is the guy we want to hurt. And we're going to have to take this shot. Yeah, that was another miss. That was like eight shots and six of them are misses. And you're stuck. But in an overwatch. Nice. Okay. So, Herman Henchman, could you by any chance get a nice shot on this guy with an aimed shot of 74? How about that? That too is a miss. This is an incredible curse that has been cast upon us. What is going on here? What is going on? Okay. So this is an end turn. This guy is impossible to hit with ranged. So, Sheldon, would you please... Yes, that's right. And you have a 95% chance extra. But you're not going to take that chance. You're going to use your 70% parry stance right here. Oh, he's coming down there. Ooh, you saw that? Did you see that? Those flies were gone and I... Okay, he missed. I didn't miss. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, Dodgy Dan, you should just engage and punish him. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That was a critical hit, but he stood his ground. We can't loot him with anyone over here, so if he has anything good, we need to loot him. So, a parry stance it is. Howard Howler. You're down to half your health. So, an ambush stands cool, calm, and collected over here. And the round is coming to an end. This is A exciting. new round has started. I'm thinking if we take just one more down. Just one more round. I mean, just one more down. If we take just one more down. We well done, Sheldon. She was. And here's the counterattack we were talking about. Yeah, this is Sheldon Shieldwise, a.k.a. our White Knight, a.k.a. the Surgeon. And I have two slots. Okay, let me just see if I can loot in this little corner here. I can't. Well, it doesn't matter. I can loot out here because Dodgy Dan and Sheldon Shieldwise, they can't. Ooh, he's got a lot of stuff. Um, let me just see. Let's take that shard at least. And a shield maybe. The rest of these things someone else can take. Downer. Let's just see here. One OP cost, two spell casting. I'm not casting any spells at the moment, so. And I actually, I have a reload to make. So, so an overwatch stands from me, right here. Okay, so, let's just see here, he has a lot of slots. So the thing is, that right now, The opponent. So right now, the others are down in morale already. 
my effect failed. I think I lost uh, an offense point on that. Hmm, doesn't matter. The thing is right now that their morale is pretty low. And next time any of them needs to take their turn, they will have to roll for a route test. Now if they fail, then this mission is over for them. And Overwatch stands for the captain. And let me just say, if it is over, I have survived my fifth mission. That means I'm pretty close to finalizing my standard contract. Now let's Nero the hero. Why don't you just take an aim shot? Yeah. Let it go, Nero. Let it go. And there goes the arrow right to its target. Nice one. Nice one, Nero. Now you can get back here. Or was it here? Anywhere? And you can reload. And wait for the next turn if there will be a next round. Now Herman Henchman. You didn't reload last time. Maybe that was because you were intended to switch weapons as well. So you reload and you switch weapons on both the stairs right there. So ambush stance for you Herman Henchman. And now let us see. Ooh, a 95. Let's see you put some damage on him. 33! Oh man, I love that crossbow. I really do. And you can reload. Nice. Let's just take a look at how he's doing. He's not doing so well. 69. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, listen, Baldy Bowman. How about over here? Hmm? Yes, this is good. This is good. Right here. And Overwatch stands right there. Baldy Bowman, you've been doing so good with that crossbow. Now dodgy Dan, let's just see here. You could get right back into an ambush stance right here. That would be good. You no longer have any stun recovery debuff, so you could be in an ambush right there, and Sheldon Shewise could be in an ambush right here. Let's just see, that's a good one, and those stairs are covered as well. This is good. This is good. And next round. Yeah! yeah! Man, oh man, that's good! It was a battleground victory. There was some wordstone gathering and a little bit of looting. Not much, though. We lost no one, got one injured, though. We put four enemies out of action, and Baldy Bowman, with his crossbow, was honored most valuable warrior. Should have been me, right? He did some good shooting, but I gathered 64 gold coins, right? I pretty much paid for this mission. It's not like I'm using the gold coins for myself. Anyway, let's just say uh, it all costed 45 gold coins and overall a successful mission. Now let's see who got what at yesterday's sweet moment. And the captain ranked up to level 6. This is amazing. He got two skill points more. He must have a load of them already. And he got a martial advancement point. Nice. Congratulations, Mason Mugshot. Well done. He was a bit nervous about how Dodgy Dan is gonna make it. Let's just see. And Howard Howler. He did a good job out there. Took a bad beating, but put two enemies out of action. He was given a martial advancement point. Nice. Well done, Howard Howler. And Dodgy Dan, there you are. As if nothing has happened? This is awesome. We were all so nervous about you. You took a bad hit out there. One second out of focus and you ran straight into their ambush. That was bad. It could have gone really, really bad. Well done, Dodgy Dan.
Well done. And Baldy Bowman with your crossbow. And you were the most valuable warrior. Awesome. And one mental advancement point for you. And you are looking as if you are going to rank up soon. With that kind of shooting, you will. Nice. And Sheldon Shieldwise, you ranked up to level 5. You got a new strategy point. So that means you got six strategy points now. You got a physical advancement point, and you got a martial advancement point. Nice. Well done, Sheldon Shieldwise. And once again, you did some real good fighting out there. Well done, Sheldon. And there I am, Mage Master. I got a mental advancement point, and I got my fifth mission survived. This is incredible. This means I'm close to finalizing my standard contract. I just need one more enemy put out of action. This is awesome. And Herman Henchman, you put an enemy out of action today and got a mental advancement point. That was a success. And you're halfway to ranking up to level four. Things are going well. And Nero the Hero, you did a good job out there today. You stepped forward and shot your arrow and tucked yourself right back in security again. You did everything right. Well done, Nero. You got a martial advancement point, and we should probably use that for ballistic skills in the beginning here. Well done, Nero, and welcome. Your warband is getting stronger. All right. Look at this. Awesome, our warband has been ranked up to level 5. And we've gained the impressive slot, and we can now hire impressives as well, and we've gained another reserve slot. Maybe that reserve slot should be for your twin brother, huh? We need a backup captain, so you can use all your skill points for new training. And there's a 40% wordstone resistance and a 35% all alone test buff by the wagon. Well, this is all good news. Awesome. Now, let's see who got what at yesterday's sweet moment. And the Captain Mason Mugshot, he wasn't too happy about the looting out there. There wasn't much. Two good quality spears, though, and a good quality shield. But nothing that he is going to use. He is going to stock up on the smelling salts and on the poultice. That turned out to really help Dodgy Dan. That was good. And he has an advancement point that he is going to be using for ballistics today. Like this. Yes. And Howard Howler, our big brute basher in the first front line. He got a martial advancement point that is using that for weapon skill. And he's gonna stock up on a little extra smelling salt in case the first dose doesn't work. Like it happened to Dodgy Dan. Nice. And Sheldon Shieldwise, he did a formidable job out there. Once again, our White Knight. And this time he has been accordingly rewarded. Two advancement points, one in physical, going for strength, and one in martial, going for weapon skill. Well done, Sheldon. And he is gonna try out the Spear of Venom we found out there. This is gonna be exciting to see that in use. I think he's gonna be real good with that. Let's just see. And Herman Henchman, you've also been doing a good job out there, both shooting and fighting, and you got a mental advancement point going for intelligence. Well done. And we're going to switch your weapon hands a bit here because you are going to be a little more in the first front line, which means you're going to have your dueling pistols in your alternate weapon hand. And we are going to take a sword and a good quality shield for you as well. This one. Nice. And Dodgy Dan, you gave us quite a scare out there on your knees, but you came back with flying colors and a full recovery. Nice. You got a physical advancement point, which is going for agility this time. Maybe that will improve the dodging to 0%. Anyway, you are not going to be coming on a mission with us today. You're just going to take a day of recovery and you are leaving your spot in the line for Donnie Dodger. 
And here he is, Donnie Dodger. He's gonna take a position as a second frontliner, which means that he is gonna be switching his weapons hands. His primary weapon is gonna be the dueling pistols, and his maze is still a good choice. Lots of damage and a good extra percentage on the hit chance, and of course a blue shield today. 5% armor absorption, giving you an armor absorption of 35%. This is good. Nice. And there I am, Mage Master. There was nothing for me out there and no good quality at all in my stock. But I did get a mental advancement point and I'm going to be using that for leadership. This is really boosting our morale. This is a good thing. And my all alone test. Important. Important. Nice. And Baldy Bowman, what incredible, formidable, legendary shooting you did out there with that crossbow. You were given an advancement point in mental, and you're going to be using it for leadership to just level out these two a little bit and to boost your all alone. This is important. You are not going to be joining us for the next mission, so you are going to be giving your helmet and your blue dagger to Teddy Toothpick. You're gonna hold on to this crossbow though because Teddy Toothpick doesn't have the quick reload that you have yet. So he won't be getting the full benefit of the crossbow. And here he is, Teddy Toothpick, putting on the helmet and taking the dagger into his belt. And actually, he is going to come with us on a mission today, but he is not going to be using the rifle. Instead, he's going to take a long bow to have the possibility of two good shots. And he's giving the rifle to Nero the Hero. You did some good shooting, did everything right out there. And today, you are going to be trying the hunting rifle. You just have one shot, so might as well make it really hurt and at a really far distance. You got an advancement point in Marshall and is of course going to be using that for ballistic. Nice, Nero. And so a new damn day is dawning in Mordheim and it's time to look at the daily report. And we're all hale and hearty and a shipment request to Brigginsburg. That's not our sponsor, the Baron. Oh, it looks like the captain is dealing some wordstone on the black market. That's not going to please the Baron. He hasn't requested a wordstone shipment for the next four days. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, let's just keep that info to ourselves. I got some other daily news for you about our one-armed cook, Perry Perry. You see, yesterday he promised the captain to do better, and he kind of did. He prepared a red bell pepper soup for us. But he mistook the bell peppers for chili peppers, and we really tried to eat it, but it was so spicy that we were sweating and gasping for air, and we pretty much drained half of the water supply that was left in our warp and well. So we're now down to a quarter water supply and ended up making a pot of oatmeal porridge. The captain was furious, but Perry Perry had a good point. He needs a proper kitchen to make proper food. He only has one bonfire. So the captain went down to the lumber mill and got the best quality wood, spared no expense. So we're all gonna build a kitchen for Perry Perry with good quality wooden cupboards, tables, shelves, you name it. And it's all gonna be ready for tomorrow's dinner after the mission. And Perry Perry has promised us to make an Asian gourmet dish tomorrow called slush slushy slushy sushi. Yeah, he's already gone down to the docks for ingredients, so I'm guessing it's something with fish. I'm looking forward to that, and the thought of just one more day with oatmeal porridge. I also have some other news for you. It's come to my attention that the captain is a planner. He has a plan for me too, so I obviously asked him to see it, but these plans are top secret, and he doesn't show them to anyone before they're true members of the firing squad. But I persuaded him to show me his plan for the firing squad as a war band. So while he went to the lumber mill, I took a good look at it, and of course I'll share it with you, but hey, these these plans are top secrets. You gotta promise me not to tell the captain that I showed it to you, okay? I could get fired for this stuff. 
but this is what I discovered. Mason Muckshot is the type of guy who loves to lay plans. Ain't that right, Captain? Yeah! He lays warband plans and battle plans and he even has a master plan for each and every individual warband member of the firing squad. He keeps it all in the Captain's book of master plans. Now let's take a look at the Captain's master plan for... The Firing Squad as a human mercenary warband in Mordheim, City of the Damned. A warband has objectives, just like warband members have, and it of course also has a standard warband contract to complete before they can become a qualified warband. That contract requires them to gain 25 warband victories. Then they're qualified to progress with the star objectives, giving them honor and rank as a warband. They can achieve a star by gaining another 25 warband victories, making it a total of 50 warband victories. That would earn them a non star and give them the rank of a professional warband. They can of course also gain a star by gaining the warband rank 10, the highest ranking in Mordheim City of the Damned. That would provide them with a second star making them a master class warband. And then there is a very personal setup of a warband consisting of 15 members. Two captains, two ranger heroes, two melee heroes, two runner heroes, two marksmen and five warriors. This could provide them with the final star making them a legendary warband. But not only that. This very specific setup of warband members is closely connected to the captain's own battle plan and to his formation strategy. The captain's approach formation on the battleground is based on three battle lines and a free roamer. Starting from the back, the free roamer is a smuggler, a runner hero that can loot, scavenge, gather wordstone, place black powder traps and go back and forth between the war party and the wagon possibly even the enemy's wagon. She has a long movement range, high agility stats and good ballistic skills with her long-ranged hunting rifle, so she will also assist the backliners. Now the backliners are ranger heroes and marksmen. They carry a heavy load of ranged damage but are not suitable for close melee combat. They need to be protected and covered by the frontliners, but they are in reach on a high ground or such to provide buffs and consumables for the frontliners. Now let's move to the first frontline. These are the melee heroes and warriors. They are heavy tanks. They can deal a lot of melee combat damage and they are strong and highly skilled in weapons. They are the ones taking on the oncoming foe and engaging in close combat. Now the second frontliners have their primary weapons as ranged. They are equally as weapon skills as the first frontliners, but they have a little better ballistic skills and they can provide damage on ranged and they can step in and assist the first frontliners engagement. They can also switch places with the first frontliners if these get injured or need to step back. The first frontliner is stepping back and then switch to their ballistic weapons and provide damage still from the second frontline. And this is the full master plan sheet for the firing squad as a warband. And I'm gonna copy all of these sheets and share it with you of course in my own book, Mage Master's Book of Sheets. But hey, don't tell the captain okay, I could get fired for this stuff. Anyway, I have even more inside news for you. It seems that Nero the Hero didn't just tell the captain who the second battle buddy of his twin brother was. He also helped him to recruit him. He's some French sword and shield specialist warrior called Pierre Paré, and he'll be arriving tomorrow. A new recruit. This is surely exciting news, and hopefully that will finally change the captain's twin brother's mind so he'll come and join us on missions as a reserve captain. And speaking of missions, let's see who we're sending into Mordheim, City of the Damned today. We are a war party of 
eight, starting from the left. Me, of course. Mage Master, I'm going all in today to try and see if I can put one more enemy out of action, and that way complete my standard contract and become a true member of the firing squad. God, I'm really crossing my fingers. Or maybe I'm not. It's hard to shoot the bow. Anyway, our big brute basher Howard Howler in the first front line today. And of course the captain, the only one we have. We have three warriors along today as well. Sheldon Shieldwise, aka our white knight, is trying out the spear of Venom. And Herman Henchman is a first frontliner today as well. He does have the dueling pistols in his second weapon hand, but he is in the first front line today. And Donnie Dodgers is taking up the dueling pistols in his primary weapon hand because he's gonna be a second frontliner and he has an okay ballistic skill, actually. And we have Teddy Toothpick along with us as the eye in the sky is taking the longbow for a two-shot opportunity every turn. Since he hasn't got the quick reload, he can't reload crossbows or rifles twice. So, one that is using a rifle today is Nero the Hero trying it out. This is gonna be exciting. So, let's go! And the captain has found us a normal mission today. Wordstone Rush. The gathering of Wordstone could be poor in the scavenging also. One warband deploys tightly around its wagon, while the other is divided into three strike teams. Maybe the Baron has found out that the captain is dealing Wordstone on the black market and sending him these normal missions. Hmm. Anyway, let's go! A spy has reported that an enemy warband is hurrying to recover a secret cache of equipment in the area. With this information, you are able to beat them to the location and deploy patrols to watch for the enemy's arrival. And we're in! Awesome! First things first. Let's just check out who we are dealing with here. Wolves of Sylvania. It is the undead. Okay, time for deployment and to hear the captain's hopeful master plan about this map. It is nasty looking. Oh man, I really don't think I like this map. So I am gonna be here. And the captain is gonna be here. And Teddy Toothpick is gonna be here with the captain. And Sheldon Shieldwise is gonna stay put here. And Donnie Dodges, you could be here. And Nero the Hero, you're gonna take this spot. Herman Henchman, you're gonna be here. And Howard Howler, you are gonna be here. All right, let's hear the captain's plan. Well, the plan is we are scattered as things are looking right now in three different strike groups and we are all around their wagon. This is not a good thing. We need to gather up and the safest place to gather up is in this corner house. We will maybe need to keep an eye on this because this is where the Captain Howler and Teddy Toothpick is coming down this way, hopefully before they can interact us. And I am gonna be the sprinter. I'm all alone here and I need to make it fast this way. I'm just hoping they're not going in a straight line down here. They're going to cross my path. So, let's see. Let's deploy Howard Howler and see how things go. Let's see what's going on here. See, three of them are already taking their turns before me. I'm standing right around the corner right here. I don't know how far they could get down this way. It's really risky. But I'm hoping that my long movement range is going to be an advantage here. Let's just see. Okay, straight line. Let's watch out for that. Maybe a trap. 
And let's just place ourselves in here. An open doorway. Possibilities to disengage if I get engaged. I do not like this. I do not like this. Wow, I'm pretty exposed out here. All alone. We all are, in a way. We need to find each other. Oh, man. See, their wagon is right down there by the red beam. It's right down the street, right down there. Okay. So we need to find a way to get through these houses. It seems as if I have to go all the way around that corner. I can't. You're kidding me. You are kidding me. We have to face them. Oh my god. This is bad. Okay. 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 Um. This is bad. Well. Okay. This is like engagement right away. Like right away. Uh-huh. Okay. This is bad. This requires new planning. Okay. Let me just take a look at these guys. All of them are down here. Seems like this is the house that we are gonna be guarding. Taking a fight in. This is not good. Anyway, we need to get everybody up here instead. So, change of plans. Change of plans. Anyway. This is, uh, let's just see. Is there a spot upstairs that's better? Is it better to be in here? At least you can switch weapons easier down here. First blood. Nice, Mason. Um, I'm not really too happy about this situation right here. So, let's switch weapons right here. And then you have an ambush. And you can see them out the door there, that. I don't like this. Don't like this. Here comes one of them. Oh, man. And another one takes his turn down there. Okay. So, you need to get inside as fast as possible. Let's just see. There was a high ground possibility for you up here. That's right. That's right. Why don't you just give him a shot right there in the eye? Nice one, Teddy. Nice one. And you can reload and you have two shots. Yeah, so so you are going to take an overwatch stance just to stop anyone approaching or give him some more damage if he moves in. He does. He does move in. This is um I'm not sure I like this. We're just going to check out the map. This guy, where is he? Is he going for me or is he going somewhere else? Was he? He was there. Looks like he's in here. So he might be going this way. Anyway, there are three against the three of us. We need to get you guys ahead, right ahead. You just need to move. That's just straight line that's right in terms of getting through this way we couldn't get around that way so could we get through that corner over there i'm gonna take a chance here we're going for 
for some nastiness right now. You can move ahead and attack someone, that's fine. Just do it. And pistols. And pistols. Whoops. That was a trap, I think. Let's just tip two. Like this. Okay. Um gonna go ask you to go this way a bit. I'm gonna flank them. So Donnie dodges, you are probably gonna have to switch to melee weapons soon. So and we really gonna take care of you, but you've got a long range, so you don't need to get up too close. We could keep you at a little bit at a distance. Let's just watch that. I'm pretty sure it's a trap. Whoops. Like that. Um maybe here. Yeah, maybe somewhere like this. Ooh. Yeah. We're all vulnerable right now. Let's see if we can have an henchman. Let's see if we can get you up in front of Nero the hero. You can't, but you can take an ambush and let's hope that we can stop anyone approaching him. And Howard Howler. Let's just see here. This. is where you take an ambush stance. That's right, an ambush stance. And we're gonna see what happens. That's the first round. A new round has started. Ooh, let's just look out the window, do we dare? Look at those guys, they're all out here. Nice arrow right there, Teddy. Let's see. Okay, something's happening down there, an ambush stance. An unspotted enemy is taking his move. Okay, here goes. Stanislav. What's going on? Did he did he just got a debuff? Nice. Nice. Whoop. Yeah, that's right, Teddy. Okay, let's see what's going on here. And uh, this is a fear test. Wow. I like that swing there. Yeah, that's right! Howard Howler, you're doing great, you're doing great, and you got another attack! This is damaging him, really. What did that do? Okay, I like that you stopped in the door. Now that means you're blocking the door, and it's my turn. Okay, it seems as if I made it this first round. How am I gonna get all the way around in that circle? In a big circle all the way around here. I don't like being alone that much. I don't like being alone that much and I'm not gonna be... I, I, okay. Hmm. Let's see. Do we spot anyone yet? No. I need to get to them. I really need to get to them. Okay, let's just see the map here. I don't see anyone. This guy wasn't here, but he was in the house somewhere here. He's in there. He's in the house right there. Okay, let's just see this guy up in the doorway. He's got ten wounds left. Ten. I mean, we can deal with that. I'm just gonna continue this. I don't see anybody, so I'm just gonna take my chances and try and see if... Oof, I am so exposed here. An overwatch stands in the middle of the yard here. This is like... Oof. Okay. So, if we move him, the others are gonna come. Uh, yeah, well, let's just do it anyway. Uh, you could charge. Yeah, you could charge. Oh, you know what? Mason, you know what? Maybe the smartest thing you could do right now is just, um, like, go over here, uh, for, um, delay. He's not gonna attack you. He's already had his turn. So, a delay here. And 
let's see what the others do outside. Let's see what they do. Where did he go? There's one guy over there. He's just standing there. And there's a nice cluster down there. Oh. Okay, that was it. That that was it. Mm-hmm. So maybe um, we maybe we should give that uh, shot to Teddy Toothpick. So we're gonna delay one more time here. First of all, we reload. Just stretch the point a little bit inwards here, uh, like this. And um, I'm thinking that Howard Howler, if he damages someone, he damaged them considerably more than 10. So why not try something like this instead? Ah, uh, that's maybe not a good idea, is it? No. No, it's not. Let's just see. Is there a better high ground upstairs? No. This is not a good high ground. I can't get... Sometimes you can get up on the roofs. Let's see. Nope. So, we're back here. This is an okay spot. Let's see. Is that only the only one we can shoot at? Well, in that case, let's just make it an aim shot then. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, you're doing good, Teddy. Nice. Nice one. Nice. So, oh my god, I forgot I already. I already reloaded. Oh, man. That's too bad. I forgot that one. I forgot that one. I guess Teddy forgot that one, right? See, this is not a good thing that he needs to move first. If we go in a straight line, oops. That's not a nice one to step in, I think. See, there are some climbing possibilities. Of, oh, there is a ramp up here as well. Let's just see. Wonder if anyone can come up, climb up right there. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. Let's see if anybody comes. Ooh, there is someone. There is someone. So if we place him here, in here, we may be able to guard him a bit. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it's going to be. Now we need to see if we can close up any gaps in here. That wasn't too good, actually. However, it's gonna hurt anyone to get close. It is an Overwatch stands for Donnie Dodger and for Nero the Hero. And you can you can scavenge. Grab a spoon. Okay gold and let's see if we should just charge you and get it over with huh there it was swift charge that's it yep <laughs> nice okay and let's just see if we can loot we can't loot without using an extra it doesn't matter a halberd of enfeeblement. Uh, that could be for you, Howard Howler. And I could take this one. Okay. Hmm. Objectives updated. Yeah, we need to gather wordstone, but right now, that does not seem to be so relevant. Can we have him in here? And in an ambush. And Howard Howler is gonna be put in an ambush again. <laughs> And Sheldon Shieldwise, let's see if we can get you into a position where you could cover these guys in at least at, in this house. So if you take an ambush here, 
they wouldn't be able to close in on Nero the hero over there unless they climb. And Herman Henchman, let's just see here. Okay, so that is this guy we're looking at. We got the two other guys on the streets and we got one in the house right here. Okay, and I'm standing way down here. Okay, so Herman Henchman, I saw that there was a scavenge point in here. Yep, here it is. Let's just see. You might as well. You can't get that far anyway. So, let's scavenge here. That's nice. 34 gold coins. That's fine. And let's see. Um, oh, this is a bad place for an ambush. But that's what we got. Yeah, that's it. Okay, Herman Henchman. Now, Howard Howler, you were in a good position. You've taken a little bit of damage, but you were well positioned for that ambush. So maybe we're going to do that again. Yeah, and we're going to end the round. Oof, what is going to happen now? A new round has started. Let's see. Oh, this guy's coming. Ah, too bad, Nero. Too bad. Nice try. Oh, he's running to the house. Okay, he's stopping right there. Now, let's see anybody else coming. Yep. This is not good. He just got mine. No. I don't know what hit us. I don't know. Let's see. Someone else is coming there. Okay. Okay. We need to check the map right now. This guy, he has no impact on warband morale. So killing him is not going to make a difference. And same goes for this guy. And the same goes for this guy. So this is a target. And this guy hiding inside here, this house is a target as well. So it seems we're going to have to fight our way through some corpses before we can do anything. So let's find a good position for us all. So I'm just going to go in a straight line. Join in the party. Got Herman Henchman around the corner. Can't be covering anything, but I just need to run. So this is uh, an Overwatch stance for me right here. Vulnerable out the free. Looking at Sigma, I guess. The great big hammer over there. Oh, there he is. Mind numb and all. Okay. This is not looking too good. What I can do, though, is uh, delay to see what the rest of them are going to do. So the captain is going to take a delay, looking at that ugly face right out there. Oh, yeah. That's a nasty hatchet he's got. Let's see. Here comes another zombie. Yeah. He doesn't have any impact on morale either. This guy does. And he seems to be going for our warriors and changing directions. And lining up this, uh, this provides a new opportunity for the captain. Let's just see here. Let's just see here. We could just switch weapons. Yes. And reload. Yes. And shoot. Let's go for the one that actually has an impact. This could be good shot. Yup, that's right. That's right, Frederick. And the captain can re reload and go into an overwatch stance. That's a good move there, captain. Well done. Nice. And Teddy Toothpick, you can reload. Whoops, you cannot jump down. No, you can reload. Yeah. <laughs> Oi. Okay, and let's see here. We have a few targets down there, huh, Teddy? Let's pick the one that has an impact. This dude right here. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That one hurt, right? Right? Oh, yes. 
And an overwatch stands just to take whoever is foolish enough to approach the front door. There are five of them are standing right out there. Five of them. Okay, Sheldon Shieldwise. If we could lure them to this entrance over here, we could get Howard Howler out and let's take it to Amelie. He's right there. They're standing all of them right there. We need to provide some assistance to that house. So what we are going to do here is we're going to take a 74% parry stance right here. Yes. And Herman Henchman, how far could you get? Would you be able to get all the way over there? Probably not. So what we're going to do is we're going to risk a little bit of you, Donnie Dodgers. You're going to take an overwatch stance here and close the gap. Herman Henchman is going to come in and we need to protect Nero the hero here. Well, let's just stretch the point a bit out of this hole and then reload. You don't have too many movement steps. So you are going to be putting yourself right here. Okay. Overwatch stance for you there, Nero the Hero. And Herman Henchman. Let's see how far we can get you. I think the smartest thing right now would maybe be to see if we could switch weapons. Yes, that could provide damage as a second frontliner in the preliminary stages of the fight. And Howard Howler, you you just need to stay here. You're providing good protection by that door. So another round has ended. Let's see. A new round has started. Ooh, someone's moving out there. It was a zombie. Going for Wordstone? Oh, that was the nice cluster. So you just got on our death list there. Oh, nice one. You're gonna take another little shard for us also? Ah, he got a buff. It's going for one more. I can't see anything here. Ah, he got two buffs. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, ah, that's too bad. That's too bad. So, oh, you're going for more. Okay. Back and forth, huh? You're getting a lot of buffs over there. That's too bad, Nero. I was thinking about that. Whole but hey, you pinned him. You pinned him. That's good. Who's coming now? Well, you know what? That is the guy who's, uh... Nope. Nope. I thought it was the one who had a moral impact. Yeah, you loot that. Yeah, you go for that. Yep. Meet Howard Howler. Aye. But how it how it? He has a counter attack as well. I You sure are one of those guys who talk back, huh? Okay, and I am all alone stuck right here somehow. Hmm. What can I do to assist best possible way? Let's see, this is a good spot. This is alright. But I only got a 64% chance. Hmm. Maybe we should make that a little better. I mean, this guy, he does have a cluster. Yup. So, let's reload this one. And go into an overwatch stance at this spot. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, let's just see. This guy's got 48. Yeah. Hmm. This guy also has an impact on the morale, so... 150 he has. 167. Hmm. 
Well, this is looking nasty. So, there's at least a reload. And you're engaged. So let's see if we take you outside. 85, look at that. 85. Yeah, nice one, Captain. Nice one. All right. That's it. And there is an Overwatch possibility here. Yeah, that's right. Let's just see. I'm just hoping you're going to be shooting that ghoul or gal, the foul gal outside. All those zombies around him, they don't have any impact. So it's Frederick's turn. Are you going to take a move, Frederick? Yep. Nice one, Captain. Okay, he's coming. He's coming down here. Oops, was that, was that a cat? Was that a cat that just ran up across the street there while just as I was firing? Okay. Teddy Toothpick. Uh, I'm, I just got to warn you, Teddy, there's, there's some crazy cat running around down there, I think. Let's see here. Uh, this guy needs to get hurt. So, uh, yep, that's right. Nice placement. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, reload. And on uh, Overwatch. Yep, this one. Okay. We still have a hero out there somewhere. We can't spot him anywhere. So Nero the hero. If we stretch this one a bit and then load. And then we could see if we could crack the line there and get around this corner. We surely can. And let's see like this. Let's see if there is nice. Okay. How many targets do we have a possibility of? finding here ah this is a good spot nero good spot and he's over there this is the guy we need to take out so let's just take an overwatch let's let destiny decide that it's probably gonna be that zombie out there so this guy still got pretty much health uh doesn't do that much damage this guy does damage. So, Herman Henchman, let's just stretch this one and see if we can get a good beat on you out there. A reload. Uh, let's stretch this again. So maybe an overwatch stance is a good one. Sheldon Shieldwise can block that thing up there with Donnie Dodgers. Yeah. Should we engage? We could do that. But this guy has a lot of health. Doesn't matter. You're gonna try out the spear, Sheldon. Let's see what you can do with that. Yep. 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 That's right. Okay. 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 But listen, uh, try a 74% parry stance, huh? This guy has a cluster. That's all he's got. Let's just see if we reload here. We could uh, see if we can get a beat on that foul gal over there. Yep, look at that. 55. Ah, that's too bad. That's too bad. So, it's time to switch weapons. We're just gonna close this. This gap right here with an end turn. Yeah, making ourselves a bit vulnerable right now. And Howler! Ooh, can you believe that? You know how much life he's got left? I'll show you. One! One! Ah, oh, come on! He's not gonna be spending an extra hit at four offense points at the price of one. No way. No way. And then they're going to be able to run straight in through this door. I don't like it. No. 77% parry chance. And in the round. He's maybe going to hurt Howard Howler a little bit more. A new round has started. Oh, that's nice. That's nice, Shelton. And here comes the counterattack. Unfortunately, a good dodge from him. Ow! 
Ouch! Oh, come on! We just want your cluster... ...and your life. Ooh, nice one, Nero the Hero! Nice one! Good shot! Good shot! Awesome! Okay. Teddy Toothpick. Yes! Doing a good job up there. And he's running around here. Okay, who are you going for? Donny Dodges? No, you're just standing there. You're just standing there. Oh, well done, Howard Howler. Well done. Now take this. Yeah, that's right. That is right. And it's my turn. Okay, let's just pick my target with precision here. Ah, there are many possibilities, but right now, but right now I think the best possibility we have is to try and get, that's not good. Let's see, maybe, maybe that guy's an easier target. Maybe that's what I should do, yeah. This guy. Yep, yep, yep. You're looking like a porcupine soon. Let's take another wheel. We should maybe move. See if anybody else is gonna close in on us. I could take them out there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So it's gonna be the captain's turn soon. Let's just see what's going on out there. And it's the captain. Let's just see. You just can't shoot this guy. He's standing right outside. And let's just see. We had someone we could loot over here. Let's just see. What have you got? You got a sword. And I got space for it. Anyway. The best place is probably still in here. So, let's just see. We could reload. Like that. And maybe, maybe there could be a shot possibility out here. It's, it's too far, I think. I think it's too far. So, if anyone runs by here. Oh, he looks nasty down there. Let's just take a look at him. This guy is also a hero. And he also has an impact on the morale. So... The captain, keep an eye on him. An overwatch eye, huh? Okay. So, Howard Howler by the door. And the foul gowl. Yeah, that was what I was thinking. Okay, we just gave him a greeting on his way. Uh oh. Did he just, did he just, did. Oh, uh, he's. Jumping down again. I know. I know I've done that mistake myself. Thinking I could get across. But I knew that. And Nero the Hero is safe up there. Oh, there are two down there now. Two of them. Another zombie. Doesn't have any impact on the morale either. So, Teddy Toothpick. And then reload. Let's see if you can get around the corner. Oh, you can't even get further down here. So you just can't see him. Anyway, it doesn't matter. There's a good shot percentage right there. 28, that's what he's got. 28. We need to be careful that he doesn't fall in a place where we can't loot him. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is ask Teddy to take one of these other targets. You could take him at the better percentage, huh? Ah, that wasn't good. I mean, you had a 95% and you roll a hundred, Teddy. Uh, and then reload. Man, that's bad. Anyway, an overwatch for Teddy Toothpick. And Sheldon Shieldwise, you still battling with this. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice one with the spears. 36. Wow. Perry stands for you right there. Okay, Herman. What is the smartest thing to do? Maybe that would be to switch weapons. Yeah. You would be able to close the gap here. Like this. With a parry stance of 57. And Nero the hero. You are well placed up here. I don't know if you have a 
shot possibility at that dude standing right down near the corner. Can you see him? He's down there. He's got a bow as well. Ah, you can't take him. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Ooh, nice one, Nero. Nice one. Nice one. Now you should tuck yourself away so that he can't fire at you. Something like, like this. Way over here. He probably can't fire at you here. So it's an end turn up there. And let's just see. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's right. That's right. An attack is better. Yeah, yeah it was. It, and we still have a parry chance of 54, but without a counterattack. Well done, Donnie Dodger. Well done. Howard Howler, you have already been taken a serious beating, but you have no ranged attacks. So you're just going to have to keep up the ambushing right here. Let's hope for the best. A new round has started. Oh, nice one, Sheldon. Once again, you buried and counter attack. Oh, man, this is an art form. Okay, that wasn't so nice to look at. I don't like that art. Okay, combat savvy. What's he doing? Oh, nice one. You just stunned him. You just stunned him. That was a good one. That was a good one. Now, let's see. Let's just see. We can reload. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's not much. That's better shot chance out there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, this guy should be going down. Yeah, you should. You know? Okay. Let's uh, stretch the point a little bit more. I don't know if it's necessary, really. Let's reload. An overwatch stance is a good thing. Just taking out anyone who decides to move. And he is stunned outside. But we can't get seem to get a shot in on him. Yeah, that's where he is. Anyway. That's a good one, yeah. That's a good one right there. I think what would be smart to do is switch weapons right here without reloading. Let's just see if I can sneak it through this door. Wait a minute, I could loot. Yep. Yes. And can loot some more. I can loot my way in back into this room. Maybe around the corner. Let's just see. And we may be able to loot a little bit more here. Like that. And let's just see how far we can still loot. Okay. We need every little step we can get inside the house again. Because they can charge from the door and straight in. So I need to get somewhere tucked in. Oh, this is not a good place. What about here? Around this corner here. I think this is okay. We may be an ambush. Yeah, why not? Okay, here he comes. That's the trident. Okay. Whee, nice dodging there, Donnie Dodger. Oh, that wasn't so good. 
You need to move away from this house. Okay. Stimulus. Stimulus. Okay. Hmm. He's just standing there. He doesn't have much life. Let's reload. C can you shoot him down there? You can. You should take this guy. Yeah. <laughs> we another stun. 36. Nice one. Nice one. So we can reload. Uh, and an overwatch stands right here for you, Teddy Toothpick. Nice one. Nice one. And Nero, the hero. Let's just see. Reload. And let's just see. Oh, you got some nice percentages on this one. You should go for it, Nero. Nice one. Awesome. Awesome. And you can tuck yourself right away here. One more time. Nice. Okay. And turn. Awesome. And Sheldon shield wise. But Sheldon. You're gonna give it to him. Stick it to him. <laughs> Oy, he parried that one. Okay. Oh yeah. 74% parry stance. Counter attack possibility. Okay. Donnie Dodger. This one. <laughs> Oy, this guy's good. This guy's good. You're just gonna... You're just gonna yeah! give it to him. That's right, Donnie. That's right, Donnie. And then you take a parry stance. All right. All right. And here is Herman Henchman. He can also do some damage, you know. That's right, Henchman. That's right, Henchman. Awesome. Let's just see. Your parry stance is 57. Yeah. Try it out. Just try it out. And Howard Howler. You have a dude out here. 41. You have another guy right here. He's probably almost within ambush distance, so don't go out there. You and the captain should actually swap places, but you can't do it now. Maybe if you go over here and ambush from this side. Yeah, he would probably make it a little bit into the room, but not enough to ambush you. And the round ends. A new round has started. Oi, that one hurt, Donnie Dodgers. That one hurt. Where's your parry? Okay. And he took a parry stance. Okay, this guy's getting up. Stun recovered. And an arrow from Teddy. That's right. Okay. Ah! Ay, 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 ay. What was that? Was that an arrow? You got two? Ah, rotten touch. Failure. Aye, that was the 57 parry. Hmm, but you do have counter attack, that's right. Oh, that's good. Nice. These two dudes, they don't really count. They don't have any impact or nothing, but... They're in the way, right? Let's see, 35, 22. Let's see if we could get you. Did you guys see that? I didn't even think about it. I just finalized my standard contract. I just became a true member of the firing squad. Oh, man. I shouted that so high. I can hear the captain laughing in that other house. <laughs> I just made it. Oh my god, let's just see, is this guy in, in an ambush stance? I just wanna, uh, I just wanna loot. You can't ambush me around the corner. I just need to go real careful, right? There's the loot. Let's see. Yeah. A shield, okay. A cluster and a shard. And someone's gotta take the sword and the rest. I'm just taking Objectives this. updated. Yep. We need some word stone, but we still need six more word stone, and that's a lot, actually. Let's just see here. Um, I don't know if somebody could actually sneak around this corner. So maybe I should close that with an Overwatch stance, something like this. Nobody's getting up 
to Nero the Hero, and there's a guy over there. Let's just reload. And I know I can shoot this guy, but we're three on him, so Overwatch stance. Oh my god, this is so good. Five enemies put out of action. Oi. Yep, just got you. Yep, that's it. A little welcoming party. You're standing there. Let's just take a look. This guy out here, he's got 16. I mean, that's like nothing. Okay, maybe it's time. Maybe it's time. To leave the building. Hmm. Let's just see. This is a decisive moment. A swift charge that could take him right out of business. Swift charge. That's right. Oh, yeah. Yep. You're out of action. That's it. That is it. Let's just see if you got anything interesting down here. This is not interesting. He was shooting with a short bow. I was hoping it was some good quality. Anyway, that had a good impact on their morale. And there you are down there. I don't think the captain likes the way he's looking at him down there. Oi! Ay-ay-ay-ay-ay-ay! That one hurt. That one really hurt. Oh, that one hurt too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Let's just see here. A uh, great hammer. And a normal quality. This is all not really worth anything. So, so what the captain is going to do is an incredible stunt. But he's actually going to cover this corner. Ah, that's good thinking there, Mason. That's good thinking. Push right around this corner. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh! Yeah! <laughs> so they wisened up, huh? Yeah, you lost this. And now we approach the sweet moment. Returning from battle in one piece is always a sweet moment. But it is also the moment where we discover the newfound skills and the spoils of war, and we receive advancements and experience and better gear. And today, of course, we can fully enjoy the battle tales of yet another strategically superior and glorious victory for the Firing Squad. Let's share that sweet moment together in tomorrow's episode of... Mage Master's Amazing Adventures with the Firing Squad into... Vortheim, the City of the Damned. Thanks for now, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, then please leave a note in the commentary below, and hit that subscribe button and the notification button if you want to be notified of new releases. So that's it for me, thanks, and have a nice day.